but uh, but uh, but oh, I didn't turn the music up. Shit, it's been quiet the whole time. It sucks. Sorry about that. How's it going, everyone? You got an emote thanks to Rope Pretzel Chan subscription. Thank you, Rope Pretzel Chan, for the emote. What emote did I get? I got thank. How do I thank? Thanks for the 2020 capture, Rope Pretzel Chan. Oh, there we go. Do 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 do. All right, bro. Uh, if you play Genshin Impact, according to this tweet that I saw, uh, if your account gets hacked, um, and the person who hacks your account spends more money on the account than you had before when it was your account, it's now their account. So, I don't know if it's bullshit or not, but we'll see. Uh, I will say that the fact that Genshin doesn't have two-factor authentica authentication, it's kind of sus. Like, I don't know why they don't have that. That seems to be pretty fucking standard on things going forward, right? Like, like holy shit. So, we'll see. I had something else to say too. What else? What uh? What uh? What else do I have to say? Oh yeah. Um. So, uh, Cyberpunk, I saw this on Twitter last night and multiple people messaged me about it. Uh, Cyberpunk apparently has some strobe light effects on it that can cause epilepsy. Or an epileptic, it can't cause epilepsy, holy shit. Uh, cause an epileptic fit. Um, so if you uh, are sensitive to that, or you know someone who has that, or... I don't know, like, I, I don't fully understand it. I read an article about it saying that the, the, the kind of pattern of lights that it uses is is similar or identical even it must, let's say similar because I don't want to say shit that isn't that I can't confirm is similar to what um, they use to test people to see if they have epilepsy or have or sensitive to epilepsy um, so uh, yeah if you have any issues like that you should probably skip any streams about it and you might want to wait for some patches or whatever before you play the game um, yeah I don't know did you, did you, will you warn about it in the stream time? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, just in case. Like, I don't know how widespread the issue is, and not many people play the game. So, yeah. Uh, that kind of runs in my family a little bit. Uh, I've never had a, a seizure uh, from epilepsy. I think I've had a seizure maybe once or twice before in my life from, like, kind of like a, like a weird kind of sleep kind of thing. But I don't think it's the same thing at all. Um, but, yeah, I, I've never had an epileptic uh, seizure or anything like that. But it does kind of run in my family, so... Do -do. Is there going to be a Game Awards stream? I haven't decided yet. I don't know. We'll decide after Cyberpunk. If I feel awake enough after Cyberpunk to do it, then we'll do it. If not, we'll just skip. I don't think it's going to be all that interesting, to be honest. But usually those are some fun streams, and they don't go on for too long. So we'll see. After Good Night's Sleep, what do you think about Diego Armando and especially his coffee mug breaking moment at the end? That was pretty anime. I don't know. I don't know. He, he seemed alright. I didn't like how, how he was kind of condescending and called everyone he, he deems beneath him kitten. Um, that was kind of weird. Uh... I wanted to clarify that just because I said yesterday that I think that this interaction between Mia and Chadworth uh, weakens Mia's stature in, in the series. I'm not sure if I actually think that's true or not, but I just was proposing yesterday. Uh, weaken does not mean make her less interesting. Uh, it, it, like These trials have definitely made her a more interesting character, a more fleshed out character. Um, I like Mia a lot more now that, I, that we've seen more of her in, in the courtroom. Um, but I do think that her, her pro place of prominence as like... Phoenix's mentor has uh, has been diminished slightly, maybe? I don't know. Like, she did win, but she also lost, but it was out of her control. Like, she just seems like a much more competent, less wacky Phoenix. So, 
Bier. But it definitely makes it more interesting. Probably, probably for the best. Like the seeing, um, uh, I don't think it's a good comparison. I was gonna say the seeing Obi Wan Kenobi in the prequels diminish his stature as as uh, that he has in the original three movies, and I, I, was, I was like, I don't think that's that's a good comparison because you know he's barely in the, the first three movies, um, and he's a lot younger in in the prequels, like a lot younger, whereas. Uh, in, like, here, like, it, it's, there's a very small amount of time that passes between what we saw and what and what she is, uh, um, at the beginning of the first game, so, I don't think it's a good comparison, but, maybe. It was interesting to see how much of a dick Chatterworth used to be. Like, goddamn, he was even worse. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, thank you, Algent, for the 3 month 3 sub. Thank you, Koji Brother, for the 2 month 3 sub. Thank you, Rope Pretzel Chan, for the for the 3 month 3 sub. Thank you, Joe's Retinas, for the 4 month 3 sub. Oh no, my Retinas. Thank you, Taco Waveable, for the 32 month 3 sub. And thank you, This Boy B, or some might say, This Boy, This Bob, for the new sub welcome. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. So this is the last case. Uh, I am planning to stream for five hours today and five hours tomorrow, and I think that should be enough. Uh, if this case requires more than ten hours, then it sucks. Um, if we need more than ten hours, then I will just go late tomorrow to finish it, and then we will uh, play Cyberpunk on Thursday. When is Cyberpunk unlocking? Approximately one day, five hours. Oh, sh shit. Okay, so, um, so I'll have time to, whoa, the spoiler in this trailer is just playing. Okay, I'll, I'll have time to mess around with the character creator on my own time then and see if I want to make a fun character or, uh, go with Breaker Chan or just make a generic thing or whatever. I'll obviously play it for an hour on my own time before stream two to make sure that it runs properly and there's no issues, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Have you watched IGN's review for Cyberpunk? I have not watched any review for Cyberpunk. The only th only thing I've seen uh, on Cyberpunk has been the review th thread on Reddit. I skimmed through it and I read Skillup tw Skillup's tweets, and that's it. Oh, we're just gonna start from the beginning. Skillup was my uh, canary in the mine, by the way, for whether the uh, the game was gonna get. Uh, Delayed again. I was waiting for for skill up to to confirm that he got a key, and he did that tweet with the Doom guy like slamming his his hands into the table like come on come on come on. And I was like oh okay it's not getting delayed again. <laughs> All right, um, a sub just came in. Plain and pale. Thank you very much for the 15 or three sub. Plain and pale. Thank you, thank you. Let's get into it. Here we go. The last case. The last trial. I hear it's a good one. So let's see if it beats 1-5. Should we delay a little longer? Should we de delay a little longer? Let's see. Alright, so... Um, this case was fantastic. This case was really, really good. This case was okay, but too long. This case was okay. This case was okay. This is just a tutorial case. So, like... We're talking like, like, you know, it doesn't matter out of 10, 5 out of 10, 5 out of 10. Uh, this was really, really good, so 6 out of 10. And then, I don't know. Honestly, if this this is a 6, then this would probably be around a 9. And then, like, 5 or 6 over here. Um, I didn't like this one. I thought this was dumb, but it's a tutorial case, so it doesn't matter out of 10. This was kind of, kind of dull and boring. I didn't really like this one. I don't like, yeah, like, I don't know. Again, kind of, kind of middle of the line. Uh, Big Top I enjoyed for how wacky it was, so I'm probably going to give this a 6. This was really, really good. This would be around it, like an 8 or a 9 as well. Uh, I had some issues, but this was really, really good. 8 or a 9. Do, 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 do. Trials and Tribulations. 
uh, tournament memories, the best tutorial case by far, and it also sets up for later now that we know. So I would, I would say this, this is still doesn't matter out of 10 because it's just a tutorial thing, but as, as what it is really, really good. Um, still in tournament. This is pretty good too. Like, um, like so far this, this has been a, a pretty much more even game, I think. So pretty good. I think these have probably been around like, like sevens. This seems like a, a prelude or a prologue to this one, so I don't know how to judge this one yet, so we'll see, but it was interesting to see all the character interactions or anything. So yeah, I would I would say that as long as, this doesn't have to be better than 1-5 for this to be the best Ace Attorney game of the three. Um, as long as it's like somewhere comparable, then I think this will be the best one for sure, this game. I feel like this game hasn't had, hasn't had a weak case yet. There hasn't been a case in this game that I've thought was just like close to bad. Um, you won four, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, one four, not one five. One four. Uh, oh, all right. Let's go. Play bridge to the turnabout. Sword. The treasured Karain village heirloom, whose name means seven branched sword. It is said that the sacred sword represents life itself. Though the branches may appear to be infinite, the choice is limitless. The definition is blurred. If I'm to choose between one branch and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile but not that fragile thread that binds us to this world is severed. Same joke, by the way, same joke. Squeaky chair, squeaky life. Who is that? The illusion is revealed and the implacability of fate is finally laid bare. It's the girl from the ring. She was crawling all around and then the statue was like, nah, and just stabbed her right in the back. February 6, 9.48 a.m. Right in code law offices. Dun dun. Hey, Nick. Yeah, what is it? This music belies the darkness that's coming. You know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? Um, sure, you are a spirit medium after all. Wow, what a great recap and way to bring this back up. What a good case. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Pearls? So, that's what, why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Neck. Huh? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? It's the New Year's issue of Oh Cult. <laughs> Winter special spiritual location special. <laughs> oh, pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training where no one dies. Oh, it sounds too good to be true. I'll say, it sounds more like a scam to me. It's at a spiritual retreat called Hazakura, Hazakura Temple. It's way up on the mountains and I bet it's nice and cold, just perfect for training. Do you have to pass a rickety bridge that hasn't been repaired in five years to get there? No, I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry, I've already made special reservations just for us. Yeah, and I signed up for the special course. But that's nice, and the timing couldn't be better, since we don't have a case right now anyway. Alrighty then, it's settled. Well, come on, don't just stand there, start packing your stuff. Yes, Mr. Nick, you'd better start packing your stuff. Huh? Me? Why do I have to go? Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Why? Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit power. The only thing I can channel is a TV. 
So, um, is there a heated pool at this Hazakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way. How can, how can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick. Look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope. Not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the... What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that down there? What the, what the fuck is this? What Star Wars alien creature is this? What the fuck? This nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl, it's... My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. But it can't be. She was found guilty and should still be in prison. Mr. Nick. Well, I think we can solve this with a phone call, Nick. I'll go- No, just pick up the phone! Huh? Hazakura Temple. I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? When's the magazine dated? Yes, oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nick. You do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? No. An occult magazine featuring Hazakura Temple. Has Nick had a girlfriend since, Dahlia? New Year's issue received from Pearls. Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly possibly be at that temple, but I just had to see, had to be see for myself. Okay, who this nun really was? She's a nun now. Oh, best girl. All right, where are we going? Oh, that looks good. Holy shit! They pulled out the stops for this background. Holy shit! February seventh, three twenty-four p.m. Hezekiah Temple. Burr, it, it, it's so c c cold here, Nick. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Well, it's supposed to be c c cold. It's t t t training. Achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly. It's all I can do to make out what she's what she's saying. And Nick had a had a cold and was sneezing in the first case. Damn! It's just all coming back around. Bookends. Wow, Mystic Maya. So this is the famous Hezekura Temple. P -p -p Pearly. I I, I achoo. Well, well, well. Okay, she looks she looks better in the sprite. And she looked really weird in the uh, as soon as the same person. She looked really weird in the in the magazine thing. Well, well, well. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Oh, thank you. At you. Oh my my my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. What's with the past tense? We're freezing into human something. Ho ho ho. Well, we are high up in the mountains after all. Okay, I, I don't like you. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please follow me inside. Thank you. I was starting to think I would... Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. R really? Bikini? That's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? <laughs> Can, can my temple name be uh, P. Nix, please? It's a tradition to have one, and I wanted something that had, had, has a nice image to it, so I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. Wah ha ha ha, ho ho ho. It certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my my my, quite brave of you, to, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those who channel. Wahaha, ho ho ho. Reckless. Wahaha. Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. So, hold on. They're they're not the only spirit mediums. Fuck. Yes, 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 that's right. We come all this way, so please enjoy yourself. They're not the only spirit mediums in the world. There's other spirit medium families. Can they, do they have different powers and shit? Like, I, I, I would like, 
I thought the the curing family were unique. It's sign that they're not. I just like I just that's the impression I got. I would like to to know like more about this world. There's I I don't actually. There's still time before supper. So why don't you have a look around? What do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? It sure is. It looks pretty well maintained too. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened to in Korean Village. We used to be a lot richer back when people back when people hired us to perform channelings. Oh, I see. But now the place looks a bit run down. Hmm. I guess I was just born in the wrong time. Oh, look! It's one of those snow motorcycle things. Most people call that a snowmobile, you know? Snow motorbike, motorcycle thing. Snow blow meal. Same thing. Hmm. Too bad we didn't invite Desiree. I bet she could race like the wind on this snow, snow, slow mobile. Or maybe she'd give me. She'd give me. Or maybe she'd give me ride on this blow snow bile. All right, Arg. I told you it's snowmobile. I'd like to ride on a snowmobile. Oh look, it's a cute little bell tower. I absolutely love the sound of a giant bell. Oh, so which do you like better? That or the sound of money? Money. Sorry, but I'll take money for the win, Nick. What are you apologizing for? For the win? That looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something in there, don't you think? I don't wanna die. I'm not worried, I brought my hot water bottle. Did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? Who carries around two hot water bottles? Wow, that was like a fucking sands line there. Brr, if the cold doesn't kill me, the ice queen over here will finish the job. I'll be your hot water bottle, Nick. Alright, I think we're done. Let's talk. Channeling dojo. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my my my, you don't even know that. Forgive him, sister, for he no well, 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 just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. Channeling Dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have sp special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. Holy items? If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, ah, it's quite mysterious. Most of them are cheese. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. Ha wa ha ha! Wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make believe. N Nick, like Maya turns into go you see your your dead mentor on the regular. You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell, thirty thousand times, all while being showered in freezing cold spirit water. Eh? What was the game we played where they established they established like supernatural stuff, and then the character still just just re staunchly refused to believe in anything else and was still a skeptic and and I got really really mad. That doesn't narrow it down, does it? It doesn't narrow it down at all. It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of year. If you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hypothermia. So be careful, you hear? Wah ha ha, ho ho ha. How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya up for this. Um, sister, about this picture. Well, well, look at that. I must say I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah, unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. Wahaha, ho ho ho. The makeup was pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That cut- sorry to cut in, but... This Iris. Where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a, a girlfriend, have you? Ex-girlfriend, glare. No, 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 that's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple preparing for this evening. If this is twin bullshit inner temple, yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? Waha, waha, ha, ha. So she's in the inner temple, huh? I'm a lawyer. Um, don't you think you- I may not look like it, but I can tell you I'm very much in demand. And to be quite honest, I'm finding this a little difficult to say. What is she trying to say, Mr. Nick? I think she's trying to say that she's busy. But seriously, Nick, what's the deal? Nothing has even happened yet, and you're already showing ev showing evidence into people's faces. 
you need to forget about work and relax a little. Try to have some fun, okay, Mr. Nick? Yeah, you're right. Sure. Pin the hypothermia on the lawyer is great fun. Heavenly Hall. Alright, that... This isn't the same area, right? Oh, it is! Dusky Bridge! What? Now they fixed it? The... February 7th Ascension Bridge. Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. It looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is before Nick reviewed the case. Oh, hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. You know, one, two, three, jump. It might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right? Ooh, excuse me. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says, Dusky Bridge. Wish I could read, Nick. Well, it's practically the same thing. Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. I like that boulder. D-U-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky, Dusky Bridge. Come on, Nick, take a look at that bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. This sign is obviously wrong, and I'm going to fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? There's a narrow path going off in a different direction than that of the main hall. The sign here is so, so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write a wooden staircase on it then. Do you really think that it... That is necessary. You'd have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya, and I'm a lawyer. I'd have to prosecute you. Come on, Nick. Why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. It looks like a bunny hopping. It looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Nah. Okay, Nick. Then let's try to find a cute, fluffy little bunny and test your theory. Okay, so we did not come across the bridge on the way here, then, right? We must have come from somewhere else. All right. That right there sums up the fundamental difference between the sane and insane. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? The people who live here, I guess. I doubt they have any real phones here. Yeah, but it, it took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. Damn, that's not going to be important. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. Just, just, if you've gone to the trouble of wiring it up here, just wire a little further and go to the main hall. There you go. All right. It looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. What? I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? I think not. But it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers too. Really? I see dead people. Sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Nick's being a little mean to Maya. I like it. February 7, Hezekura Temple, Main Hall. The Main Hall, I think it's even c -c -c colder in here. It's you. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yum. Weird. I thought they would have served something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Eat your burgers, Apollo. Mystic Maya is right. Oh, I hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potatoes. I used to love mashed potatoes. I don't really love mashed potatoes that much anymore. Ha ha ha, what a cute little acolyte. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.810 on the weirdness scale. Your outfit. Did you come here for the special course too? Haha, ha, ha. unfortunately no. Actually, I'm... Ah! You're, you're... You're Miss Elise... Dot... Dukes Nim. Okay, good. I was gonna say it's Maya's mother. Okay. Yes, that's right. You know of me? My name. My name is Pearl Fay. I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm, I see it now. Zavari, a fortune teller. I've got all your books, miss. Oh, 
I can't say this name. Dunim? Something silent. Deoxnim. 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 Oxnim. Miss Nim. Mario? Haha, <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. And please, call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Neck, don't you know anything? No. Don't you even know who this is? Well, um, an author maybe? Yes, and an illustrator of picture books. Picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. I'm glad one of us does. Aw, oh, man, don't lie in front of this. There's a laughably large Magatama on the altar. If I can see Psyche Locks with, its, with the tiny Magatama I've got, I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under his hood. It's an altar. Altar. <laughs> it's an altar. <laughs> Uh, old, but someone does a good job taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Korean Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. I bet the writing on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling, kind of like how we scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them, except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. Nice. Nice. So who who's gonna get fucking invaded by a spirit and kill someone and, and they're gonna still be found guilty for it this time? It's a stack of straw Zab Zabutin cushions? I don't know what that is. Maya told me this type of Zabutin is called Enza. I suppose if I'd never come here, I'd have missed out on all these new things. That's true. There are straw Zabutin cushions arranged around a Hibachi bra brazier. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. If it wasn't for this hibachi, they'd probably freeze to death. This is uh, California, by the way. According to chat, at least. I remember them saying that. Alright. Uh, I'm a lawyer. Miss Nim, what do you think about this? Mr. Nick, do you think Miss Elise is a suspect? Huh? You may be missing my special someone, but I won't let you do this to Miss Elise. A suspect? Why would I suspect her of anything? It's not like anything's happened. Isn't it cute, Nick? Pearly's getting all overprotective of her new friend. Yeah, so cute. Okay, do you know where this girl is? Oh. She's not here. Shit. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I don't really- I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's alright, I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. Aww. Aww. Thank you, uh, Kali Dalgo for 100 bits. Thank you very much. And I said thank you to Plain and Pale when that came in, right? Just in case, thank you to Plain and Pale. I'm pretty sure I did though, because it was after uh, this boy. Yep, I did, I did, I did. Ha ha ha, makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Classy lady, Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was all right to make it into a book. Wow, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself the thinker. Loris. Loris de... Du... Diaxnim. I believe he's off doing landscape sketches now. On Loris's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you. And then it's fucking good though. Ah ha ha ha. He's just there. He's still wearing the mask. He's got robes on. And he's like... I don't know you. What are you talking about? Um, why did you come to the temple? <laughs> are you here to do some spiritual training? Wasn't there a Larisse before? Ha ha ha, no that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow, I can't wait to read it. Pearls is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So, is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a, she's really a sweet lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes, the good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. Do you like the crystal sphere? It's a real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one up, up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. No. Well, you have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? No, yes, yes, I want to help with whatever I can. Pearls looks like she just won the lottery. 
Oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. Okay, so when we did it earlier, it was just zoomed in on this area. Okay, so they drove past Hezekura Temple to park here, and the bridge was out to the inner temple. And so for five years, they didn't have access to the inner temple. And it just so happens that Dahlia's come back here after this shit happened. That's weird. Okay, it's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The inner temple. There it is. On the other side of the bridge. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. It shows Hazakura Temple at the surrounding, in the surrounding area. Okay, I'll see you later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick, let's go. At least we'll stay warm and we'll keep moving. Okay, did... <sighs> the... That's such... That's... Why would she come back here? Like, that's... How did she get out of prison? They're spirit mediums, right? Did she die and she's just like claimed a body here and she's just like impersonating someone who has that power and she's just never letting them go and that and she's just become that person or and she, like with the diamond that they lost and that's why she's here looking for it or like like what what the fuck is going on? Alright, I'm really interested. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. And what was with the weird, weird, like, like, rejection of Maya there? February 7 has a Kura Temple main gate. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple to go help that other nun out. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris. Yeah, that was it. She's never seen Dolly, all right? I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find out. How long ago was that? That was five years ago, right? And it was like like six months between between what we just saw with Mia's case and, and that one or something like that. It wasn't Maybe it wasn't even that long. All right. Okay, so it hasn't it hasn't been that it's been more time than I realized because just because we did the case, it's been five years since that happened. Alright. It's not like it just happened last month. Alright, so five years is, is a fair amount of time. Okay. Oh, you're gonna cross the bridge, Nick? Oh, he just did it. Okay, cool. Just cross forehead. February 7, Inner Temple Gate. Whoa, that bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. Okay, so again, just just so I, I'm sorry, I'm getting my head straight about this. So, uh, Dahlia got fake kidnapped 10 years ago when she was 14. And then when she was 19, they had that case when the guy escaped, falls escaped from prison. So that bridge was broken for five years and they didn't have access to the temple. And then it's been another five years since then, since, since she went to prison. Um, so like, and there might've been like a year or six months in between those five years too. So, so Dahlia is going to either be uh, 24 or 25 now, depending on when her birthday is. So like, so that's that's how long that's that's been and phoenix is about the same age as well i think so like if they fix the bridge right after that case it might have been fixed for five years already all right so this is it's been 
it's so this area 10 years have passed since the kidnapping and five years have passed since jill valentine was was found dead in the trunk all right so i'm just getting the timeline straight in my head all right whoa that bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake oh man i hope van karma's not around and at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting i bet not to mention the last part only had like one board left on it what's wrong with you your face is all green can you not pick on me for a second i'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap yeah i guess i'm a bit surprised too yikes that temple is in bad shape it looks like it could collapse any time i guess people don't use it too often is this really where you're going to train tonight that has to be it it's kind of creepy around here like a ghost might jump out at you or something a spirit medium are afraid of ghosts isn't it ironic that you think ironic Hey, a half-open gate. That's practically a welcome mat. Yeah, except the sign on here says no entry. Um, Nick, rules are made to be broken, you know? Yep. You expect a lawyer to go along with that? Oh, come on. You're such an old lady sometimes. Let's just go. Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you. Bikini? That's a, that's a weird name. It's not my real name. Oh, well, uh, well, I'll just keep calling you it. And now you've got me scared. Um, let's just forget about it, okay? Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it, but if I had to take a good guess, I'd say it says Inner Temple. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? it must be tough for the mailman when he's delivering here. <laughs> I guess the sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Do, 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 do. do we win? Do we uh, learn Whirlwind Dash while we're up here? Whirlwind Sprint, sorry. So that's the Inner Temple up ahead, huh? It looks kind of run down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. So you're training here tonight, huh? Yep. Then everyone will see my spiritual powers. <coughs> Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. I wonder if that roast is ready yet. Cha-cha, real smooth. I don't care how much you pay me. I don't want to cross that bridge again. You're going to have to to get back, Nick. No worries, Nick. No one is offering you any money. That's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge. That's a good line. That latter half, the latter half of it was nothing more than a few planks of wood and some string. Hey, if you if we want to get back, we've got no choice but to cross it again, you know? Maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little shack in the woods. Me too. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? That's the dream. It looks like this bridge is suspended by four of these wires. They're really thin. Shouldn't they be just a little thicker? Oh, stop it. You're such a worrywart, Nick. If the bridge were really going to collapse, I'm pretty sure the boards would break before these wires ever did. What's wrong? You're turning into an overripe avocado again. Oh, wow. Look at these neat Buddha statues. I must carve the Buddha. Maybe I'll take one home with me. Maya, but there are so many. They wouldn't notice if I took just one. Are you kidding? Of course they'll notice. What are you going to do with one of those anyway? Put it in the office, of course, next to Charlie. We can trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for one of these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyway? Oh man, is that important? Hey, there's a giant robot buried in the snow. Well, there's something buried in the snow, but I think it's an incinerator. Oh, hee hee, you've got to admit, it looks like a, lot, a lot like a robot. That's going to be important, I'm sure. Anyway, I don't think it gets used much. It's looking pretty rusty. Hey, Nick, do you think this giant robo, inc robo incinerator can walk? I told you, it's not a robot, and it's not especially big either. Bah, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be real neat if you had to beat it to advance. A fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace. Who'd ever pay to see that? Well, I would, an anime. Now this is near Automata. All right, are we done? Okay, are we, um... Yeah, all right, training hall. What? Well, why would they ever need to bar this? What are they afraid's getting out? Why do they have a prison cell in the mines for every seven inner temple training hall? Part of your training is to go into this jail cell and we lock you in until you've gotten strong enough to, to get out. Good luck. Man, look at look at this place. It's just a tiny freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Pearlie's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. So says the girl who I, who I can barely hear over her teeth chattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. Hmm, yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. 
Even I can sense there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. The vampires live in there? Um. Here we go! Excuse me, but who are you? Hair's a different color. Ah, you're... Hi there. And doesn't the hair... The hair doesn't change color when someone gets possessed, right? We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, or no, it, it's nothing. I wonder why she's spaced out like that, don't you, Nick? Uh, did you say something about Maya? Not you too, Nick. I, my name is Iris. It's, I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Okay, it's a good thing that she took a picture without, um, the, the cowl on, because, like, with the cowl on, it's like, you know, hard to tell that it, that it could be Dahlia. Oh, er, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful, and a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Sophisticates? Nick, that girl. It, it can't be, but... Alright. Time to call and see if, if, if Dahlia's still in prison, Nick. Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Humph, nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick. Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking. I wonder how much stuff Maya's stolen. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. There are a bunch of musty-looking blankets and bedding sets piled up here. I wonder why they're even here in the first place. It's because all spiritual training is done under the supervision of a nun. I wonder if Sister Bikini is planning to sleep in here while I train. But if they sleep, what's the point of having them here in the first place? Hanging skull. Shit. Ah. Uh, what is it? Did you? Why do you scream like that? The, the scroll. It. It's my mother. What? It's Misty Fay, the master of the Crane School channeling. All right. So th this this isn't the mother. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a stretch, but it's this game. Like. The, just all of a sudden, here's this this older spirit medium lady, you know, and Maya hasn't seen her in a long time, and also sh and then when she was like, no, I don't want you to help cooking, but pearls can. I was like, oh, okay, but no, I guess not because she would recognize her. It's Misty Fay, the master of the Crane School of Channeling. Are are you sure? Yes, that crest at the top of the scroll. That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So what's the mark? So that's what the mark means. All right. Bullshit's off the menu. What is it? Nothing. It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. Bullshit's back on the menu. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Back on the menu, Maya. Hanging scroll added to the court record. Shows Misty Faye master the crane technique. It's a hanging wall scroll showing Maya's, Maya's father, Misty. M Maya's mother, Misty Fay. It's not that old. That crest at the top is the official mark of the master. I wonder if this simple is sort of. I think it does actually. Supposedly, it was founded by a branch family member of the Crane School. I'll have to ask Bikini in more detail when I get the chance about Maya and the Fay family in general. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Fooey, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me. I can't. You've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari. I know what it is. I-R-I-S. The IRS? Ha 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 ha. Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. F-U-C-K-I-N-G. All right. I like that Zavari is a thing now. All right, we crossed. Phew, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, you've been really quiet, huh? Oh, I'm um, sorry. 
Hey you, wait up. You think he's yelling at us? He must be, there's no one else around. Hey pal, would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. Larissa's full name for Larry. Oh, I hope that he's the victim. Uh, hey, I know you. You're. Whoa, sorry, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Larissa Nim. Liar. You're Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. Shut up. I'm... I'm Loris. I'm just here to do a sketch of Dus Dusky Bridge. So it really is our Larry. Not that I get get why he's pretending to be someone else. Damn. There's, there's only like 20 people that exist in this world, huh? 20 fucking people that exist in this world. Lur so what are you doing with the last name Diaxnim? Well, I, I just, I wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you? Last time? The mask, the mask case. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Thinker, the Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny? Do you mean the magic bottle by Miss Elise Nim? It's so beautiful. Oh, he's got a head tilt one now too. He's learned, so moving, so, so gentle. My heart felt cleansed, I was saved. Maybe I should buy a copy of the magic bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now too. Damn, can't wait for you to read it and be like, oh my God, this is a message from my mom. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see, you see, here's a photo I took of her in secret. What? The magic bottle. Wow, that's a beautiful photo. You want a copy, don't you? It's okay. I just happen to have made an extra, extra prince. Taken by her only people, Larissa Nim. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I don't... I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore. Especially not women. But Larry, Elise is a woman. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking. Can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Sorry, I heard a thump. I want to make sure everyone's okay. No one's crying. We're good. Hmm, now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended, and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Lisa Na Danaxim. No, you're wrong. It's not her. It's the other girl. Other girl? Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Is it? Is it her? Woo, yeah, her. My little Iris. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I'd eat glass for her. I'd eat her glass. Glass either. I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. <laughs> yeah, you always like the small types in you, Larry. Hey, wait a sec. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have basically, but, 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 Iris is different. I feel like, I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never change. Everyone. Hey, Pearly. Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. All right, I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm going. I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be training. All right, are we going to let her walk across this bridge all by herself? Yep. February seventh, seven forty-six p.m. Hezekura Temple, main hall. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's right to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mrs. Maya, Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. 
Ha ha ha. No pain, no gain, I guess. Eh, I'm still worried about you. Well, 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 let's not dilly dally shilly shally. You must get ready for tonight. I'm the judge, apparently. Good luck, Maya. <sighs> Alright, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. What possible justification is she gonna have for like, yeah, I just I just didn't want to be your mom for 15 years. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 for lights out, alright? Yes, sister bikini. Yeah, that's so weird. And then after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, sister bikini. Maya and bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl? What are you going to do tonight? The same thing I do every night. Well, um, if you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps you can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. Ha ha ha, well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Ah, uh, I'd love to. Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss, uh, Nim. So Larry, what are you going to do? Huh, me? Um, well, I'm just going to hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise, so for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. What about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. What kind of a book is she reading anyway? Well, I'm going to go wash, dish wash the dishes and help clean up. So, this is... If that is Maya's mom, you know, hypothetically, um, this, this is her niece, right? Per Pearls is, uh, right, I think so. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. Cause, cause my, cause the, I can't remember her name, but the, the, the matron that was at the Crane family village was Maya's aunt and Pearls was her daughter. So yeah, I think so. Well, February 7, 9, 12 p.m. Hezekura Temple, Main Hall. Ugh, it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Arg, why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Yeah. Oh, uh, Miss Denaxim. Are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no. <laughs> but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Oh, Pearl's fucking dead. Miss Lisa Maxim, a woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. No, I'm not seeing anything, but the really mysterious one is... Oh. Ah, Sister Iris. Good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by. I should try to talk with her and maybe get some answers. I'm a lawyer. So showing her things, I really need to just listen to her story. This girl, just who is she? She kind of looks like Mia a bit. Huh, wonder why that would be. Iris. Um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, when did you come to Hezekura Temple? 
I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Uh, I see, but you... Didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll in the Ivy University Literature Department? Phoenix, like, if, if it's her, she knows who you are. What, what kind of, like, master of deception horseshit? It, God damn it, Phoenix. No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. I, I see. But once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. That's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any psyche locks. So I guess that means she's not lying. Nah, that's not how it works. Please don't stare at me like that. It's a great temple. What kind of- th This big thing cancels all, all smaller Magatamas. What kind of place is this anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people. Who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? So then why stay in a place like this? Ah, is something wrong? I, I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost 10 now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like you to have this. Do you want me to wear it? But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Couldn't think of it. Sister Bikini is wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark cold night. Aw oh, man, we're in! Iris's hood received from Iris. A magical hood said to offer protection from evil spirits. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris, yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said, Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. That that's... Sister Iris, please tell me the truth. Sorry, I was raging at how dumb it is. Sister Iris, please tell me the truth. You and I, have we ever met before? Whoa, 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 whoa. Iris. Oh, it's almost 10. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. Gong, gong, gong. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I'll have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. Still not calling the prison, by the way. Still not calling our co our law contacts and be like, hey, it, that that girl is she just just calling, just wondering, not a big deal, you know, just whenever you get around to it. Hey, can you, can you go check if she's still in prison? No, I'm just curious. You know, just just want to know. Like, yeah, is she still? Uh, what the? That blood curling scream came from the courtyard. February seven, alone, oh six p.m. Has occurred Temple Courtyard. That scream. I'm sure it came from around here. Ah, uh, someone's there on the ground. Mr. Maxim. Squish, squish. I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that. What are you doing lying there in the snow? I was passed out, what do you think? So that blood curling scream was you? Forget about that, hurry up and call the police. Wow, someone died a lot sooner than I was expecting. Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, we still get reception up here in the mountains. What, what, why do you bring back their mother just to kill her off? Or, I mean, like, it could be her mother. You must have a, call, a cell phone on you, right? I, um, I didn't bring it. Oh, you're useless, wait. I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You'll have no. We'll have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Run as fast as you can so I can do some shit to the crime scene while you're gone. Yes, ma'am. If you don't hurry, Iris will. Iris will. Junko and Ashima is February 7, 11, 18 p.m. Dusky Bridge. Huff, huff. It's farther than I thought. 
the bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened too. Uh... Okay, Th this this is escalating real fast. All right, I like this. Holy shit! Holy shit! Let's interrupt. Thank you, uh, Ilg Morg, I G L Morg, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, King of Dunces, for the 19 month resub. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Crocano861, for the 38 month resub. Holy shit, 38 months. Thank you so much. What are you doing here? Why are you burning down a bridge? Ah. Uh, huh? What is it? Is it me? I just really wanted to paint a bridge that was on fire. Don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry, it's Larice. Larry, hurry up and call the police. I'm going to the inner temple. Well no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. What do you do to the bridge, Larry? It's called fire and it's art. Don't be stupid, the bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now. Listen to me, there's been a murder here at Hazakura Temple. What, what? The murderer might have fallen across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya is safe, but... Please, call the police. I've got to go. Get out of my way, Larry. It's too dangerous. Nick, wait. Aw, oh, man, Nick really cares about Maya. I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. Crack. Ah, uh, Nick. Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's planks snapped and gave way. And as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. To be continued. Oh man, Nick's fucking dead. He's gonna turn into an egg now. All right, so that's how he ends up in hospital. So we're in hospital now, recovering, and then we review the uh, the um, the files that we that we found about that date, time, location. Ring, ring. Who could that be at that time of night? Yes, Chadworth speaking. It's Chadworth. Edgy, get up. It's an emergency. Huh, Larry? Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry. It's Larice. Larice and Axum. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over it. Wait a minute! Those are thoughts! Wait, wait, don't hang up. It's an emergency. It's- Wait! Wait, 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 wait! It's Nick. He, he took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking. His life is in danger. What? What happened? Tell me. Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. Anyway, play playable Yusuke? We get to be Yusuke? Anyway, you've got to come back. You're the only one who can help. Wait, but you could call anyone and you called Chadworth? Good call. My Iris, my beautiful Iris, she needs help. All right, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center. Please, hurry. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. February 8, 2.19 p.m., detention center, visitor's room. You're late, Edgy. What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is, Maya, and Iris is bikini. Huh? Say something, Edgy. Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise de Naxnum. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. He's always a fucking dumbass. Why would he try to cross that bridge? The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yes, that's right. You got it. But they arrested her. My sweet little Iris. And here, and here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? They're things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. 
This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? I'm begging you. Iris' trial starts tomorrow. Oh, do we do, we, do the trials, Chadworth? Do we? Oh my god, I hope so. Oh, fucking I hope so. With Nick out of the picture, you've all got left. Your Honor, I was a prosecutor, but now I'm going to be a defense attorney. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, but, yeah good point. All right, I'll allow it as long as the prosecutor doesn't have any problems. All right then, man. I, I, I don't really like this. Hmm, uh, denied. Chadworth, continue. You're the only one that can, re can represent her. What did you just say? You know, represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem filling an entire court before. That's true. How could this country's ju judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy. Chatty. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. Sir Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Yeah, they're just... transferable. Oh shit, I recognize you. What the fuck are you doing here? Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Are you sure? Chadworth, Miles Ch Aw, oh, come on, Chadworth! I don't know if I can be of any help, but... I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. You look familiar, by the way. You'd remember your first case, um... Mr. Wright, how is he? Mr. Lurie said that he, that he might even die. I can't lie to you. It's touch and go. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron. How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Thank goodness. No one dies from falling off that bridge. You should know, but he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. I must be imagining things. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. There we go. All right, good, good, good. I just need to be patient. There you go. The guard is glaring at me. If someone glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor is what I was taught. If someone glares at you, it's only polite. What is this music? Um, are you all right, Mr. Chadworth? Mm, oh, excuse me. I'm a lawyer. Is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Wright. Really? It doesn't have his name on it, though, so now now that I have it, I'm an attorney. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> and if you get a gavel, you're a judge. That's why he never lets go of it. I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, then why do you have a defense attorney's badge pinned on your la <laughs> label? That's actually how he became the judge. He just walked in and he just took it. It's like that movie, The Santa Claus. Whoever has the gaffle is the judge. Oh, I'm a judge now. Never gonna let it go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a judge. <laughs> See, I um I borrowed it. <laughs> Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be imagination, Mr. Chadworth. After after all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to the temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. I have really good intuition. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I have committed some sins. Sins I need to pay for. That's why I'm there and why I continue to train to purify my soul. Alright. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room about 8. Later, I left my room to ring the to ring the lights out bell at ten. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? How quaint. And, and then? I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. 
There's more to her story. I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Frightened. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? I was frightened of how attracted I am to Phoenix Wright. His hair, so spiky. What in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about. The psycho locks. <laughs> I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. To do something. No wonder he was such a good defense attorney and I lost him all this time. He had magical bullshit powers on his side. This is horseshit. I'm gonna go back to all these lessons that I've learned with him. I'm going back on them now. They're undone. I'm going back to being the old evil mean Chadworth. This is- he cheated. It's horseshit. Any- any idea? So do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power. Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This institute was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power, even though I just witnessed psycho locks appear in the air, floating in front of me, and she couldn't see them. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Nim? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm, there's no psycho locks, so she must be telling the truth. Those psycho lock things are. <laughs> the statue killed her. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Heh, <laughs> what's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual. Pro oh, damn! Oh, well done, game. God damn. Hmm, it appears that's about all you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited a right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Me? Yes, at the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Chadworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Okay, Wright can't defend her because he got bruised from falling off a 40-foot bridge? Like, come on. Von Karma got shot, and she managed to get back to, to, to the courtroom. Come on, she ran in with her Snickers, like, come on, Phoenix. Oh, is Phoenix hurt from his little 40-foot drop? Oh. Before that, I have one question, yes? Do you know right? Or, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Mr. Chadworth, what is Mr. Right to you? He's a very dear and indispensable friend. Oh man! Holy shit! It was five years ago. We're in! That's when I that's when I deceived him. You de you deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why. That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. So it is Dahlia, or was there just an unrelated girl that looked exactly like Dahlia that interacted with Phoenix and hurt him and he doesn't remember. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him, tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Alright, Mr. Shadworth. I promise. Very well, I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. I really hope that, that Dahlia died and, and her spirit has been possessing whoever this is this whole time. Because that would be really interesting to me. If it actually is Dahlia repenting. But I don't I don't know if Dahlia has repenting repentance in her. She's like... She's like fuck... Like... Crazy, right? That's enough for information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. What is this music? Good. Okay, can we get through this psycho lock? Last night was, what about last night? 
I'm gonna guess no. Or, oh, nothing, it's rather silly. So there was something special about last night, hmm? Uh, let's try, because she has like a bigger psycho lock, right? Take that. Take that, oh man. I was frightened. Since I've been handed this case, it is my duty to dig up all the answers, understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. Who knew the world held such wondrous truths? That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Oh, we can make Gumshoe our bitch because he loves Chadworth. Yes, I swear, I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. That's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Phoenix. Phoenix. Perhaps this is what you were afraid of. Well, I I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Huh? Why was your voice trembling like that? It's just that your eyes, your eyes are scaring me. Yeah, he does have scary eyes when he gets excited. That's true. Blast, I must be trying too hard to bluff. Please excuse me, I'm still not used to this role I've been assigned. No, I should apologize. I'm sorry for being such a scaredy cat. Anyway, I'm still determined to find the answers to this mystery, but I'm telling you, I really was in my room all last night. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Alright, so, I wonder if this one- okay, so... Uh, you scared of Larry! He's terrifying! Alright, I don't think we have the answer here. Were you scared that you didn't have, um, the, the, the hood anymore to protect you from evil spirits? Let's try that. No. Okay. Uh, it's not going well. It's not going well. Looks like I still have the informa enough information. Damn, it's hard being a defense attorney. I need to investigate further and gather some more evidence. Wait, we're just we're just going f just to the bridge. February eight, dusky bridge. It sure is cold, all right. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. Do we, is Maya still across there? Where's Maya? Did they mention it? Oh wow, it's you, Mr. Shadworth. Yeah! Ugh. Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see, it's been about a year. Has it been longer? Can I get you anything, anything, pal? Anything, sir? You're not my pal, you're my sir. Is there anything I can get you? Some food, a foot rub, anything at all? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch. And there's that sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Chadworth. Let me, let me guess, you were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. Shit! That was Edgeworth! I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe. He's impossible to get rid of. Wow. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe, reporting for booty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot? Who the fuck is Prosecutor Godot? There's a little shack down that way called Heavenly Hall. A shack? It's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. It's where I'm sleeping right now. It kinda reminds me of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall that makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hovel a great name is a crime itself. I'd call it false advertising. By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. That's not such a great name if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. Okay, so is there some sort of... There must be an alternative way across. Some letters are wildly engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusky, br Dusky Bridge, it's certainly an appropriate name. You need to get some glasses, Mr. Chatterworth. That sign says Dusty Bridge. I could see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, Detective. Try reading it one more time. Ah, you're right. It's Dusky Bridge after all. I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake. E both, neither of you are remembering how important this bridge was? No? Mm. Okay, for Gumshoe, that, that's like, you know, he's he's a 
I wouldn't call Gumshoe dumb. Like, he's portrayed as dumb, but I wouldn't call him dumb outright. Um, like, he's been in a lot of cases, but, like, Shower, that was your first case, man. And it ended, like, with someone killing themselves in the courtroom. I think, I think you would remember. I guess it, it's it's gonna come up because you remember Dahlia. I'm guess he's gonna re he's gonna remember eventually. Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of those these anymore. That's true. Since you've got one here, why don't we take a photo as a memento? Well, um, sure. Why not? Oh darn it! I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. There's a gift shop down the street. What's so special about public phones, and why is he so fascinated by them? Oh, we didn't talk to him. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Pretty reckless if you ask me. Did you get the camera? I'm, su I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Do you think anyone else has ever survived a fall from this bridge? I don't know. I've never heard of this bridge or anyone falling off of it before. If I did, I'm sure I would remember it. That sounds like a really interesting thing that I would know and be involved in, but no. Now I see how he managed to win this his cases in court. Blind luck. I think dumb luck suits right just a bit better. Whoa, what the fuck? It looks like a pretty good distance for them from that far cliff. Yeah, it's gotta be around 100 yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to 100 yards. Well, I gotta admit I'm not very good at judging distances. It's about 20 yards or so, and impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. Yeah, but what if you could fly? Or teleport? Or fly and teleport? What happened? I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here, on this freezing cold mountain. Completely isolated in, in your kitchen. Yeah. Can I see it? No. Well, you should talk to her, her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep. I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or was that leap? And is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple, and maybe someone's in there. I don't know. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training, and now they're stuck there. She's still there? Yeah, I heard that from right. It's Maya Faye. Did they just- did they drop some supplies for her at least? Like, oh no, her again. Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. Okay, I was just about to bring that up. Like, why don't we get a, a helicopter? There must be another way across there. No one's gonna be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. We should be alright in this cold. Get a catapult. So how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? At that time, completely localized to this bridge to set it on fire. So who is this So who is this prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy, even though he's lost every case he's, he's done. What kind of man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is that I've never heard of him? Didn't didn't Chadworth say he was the best prosecutor in the country? So that was a lie. Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? Of course he is, pal. You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh, looks like I have some competition. Yeah, he seems to have some kind of some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. I better look into this good dome myself. Lightning. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Lightning again? Another another bolt of lightning. More lightning. What about the lightning report? We all know about lightning reports. Uh, remember lightning reports in the university? Well, it turns out that they don't extend this far, so we don't know if there was actually lightning around here or not. 
original weather report for the night of the crime. There's no, there's no stats of whether there actually was lightning, but we know if there was lightning in the city. Oh, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that lightning struck. <laughs> what the fuck is? Whether a broken bridge was broken a day before that the photo is the, the after the photo is taken, but but no, we know that there's there's a lightning struck this bridge at this time. Like, come on! It even has the exact time that lightning struck the bridge. This is gotta be bullshit. Chowworth, call the bullshit. Oh, that we got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Oh. <sighs> Was did they did they set that up with um with the lightning report in the earlier case, I wonder? Cause that was like We we have weather report statistics about whether there was lightning shot. That's pretty funny. Alright, um Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow, 7 to approx... 7 to approx 10.50 p.m. Lightning, 10 to approx 11 p.m. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45. Around 30 minutes passed between the fire starting and going out. This is a very uh, official sounding thing for uh, just a witness testimony. February 8, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Sorry, I just finished my coffee. Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to sherbet. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. What do you mean? The ride is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a second, hold it. Objection. What's going on here, Mr. Chadworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Chadworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecutor Chadworth. Prosecutor Chadworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Chadworth? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. Damn. Hmm, dude, Edgy. I don't see you for a couple of years, and your heart turns to Sherbert. We haven't seen Chadworth yet, right? I'd, I'd say more like Sorbert. It's rather cold here. Oh, Sorbet? Iris didn't murder, her, didn't murder her, her. Someone else did. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to Wright, that is. Aw, oh, man. Wright's gonna come in. Tap me in, coach. Tap me in. Here you go, you're tapped in. Aw, oh, if Phoenix and, and, and fucking Chowworth end up side by side on the defense side, Instead of it being Phoenix and Maya, that would be so good. Oh, please. Oh, please. I suppose, I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say this just gave me a great idea. Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I've got an idea for a brand new invention that might even make me rich. An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I'll call it a snow car. So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. That must be the main hall back there. A brilliant deduction, sir. Are you trying to flatter me, Detective Gumshoe? Um, a brilliant use of suspense to build the tension, sir. According to Wright, the head nun has some important information. I can't miss the opportunity to speak with her. This gate looks quite old, strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the Mr. Chadworth I know. You've got a real flair for words, sir. I have always appreciated this kind of old, timeless elegance. That's exactly how I feel, too. That's why I wear this coat. Take the... <laughs> Don't 
take this coat, for example. It's like a fine wine, it gets better with age. Even fine wine turns to vinegar and begins to stink at some point. I suggest you wash that atrocious rag you call a coat detective. I can see a small bell tower from here. Hey, that just reminded me, there's something I've always wondered about. Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. We call a person who tells a lie a liar, right? So why don't we call a person who rings a bell a beller? Or truer for a guy who tells the truth. Oh man, I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. I had no idea he was such a deep thinker. He's the thinker. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Simply? Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. I was right after all. I should never have come back. No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that, I'd have 50 cents. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh. Uh, or forget it. I didn't say anything. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry? What? Don't tell me. You think I might have done it? What? What? Get lost. Go back on your chartered jet and get out of my sight, you creep. And I hope your plane crashes and you die. I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? As I suspected, psycho locks. I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. My short term memory is a wreck, dude. February 8th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Ooh, that's new. Sigh. Hey, hello there. Um, so how are you feeling? So is Gumshoe the Maya for us now? Big improvement. All right, I suppose, huh? Who is this? Hi, my name is Miles Chadworth. My, 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 a handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Sigh. If circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her. Now, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. Ha ha ha. If you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. Wah ho ho ha ho ho ho. Uh, Mr. Chadworth... This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is ex this is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. <laughs> my stomach is already growling in protest. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. There are more Enza cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under the stack? Hmm, beats me. I didn't search anywhere. Would you mind checking that out for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. Here you are, Mr. Chadworth. It looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah. What is it? What is it, Detective? This. This could be it. An ultra important clue. A super special clue. I suppose I should read it myself then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall, unless you want your secret to be exposed. This sounds like a blackmail letter. Note to Iris added to the court record. Found the moment when she dropped it. Can we read it? Nice going there, Mr. Shadworth. Wow, this is just, just left out. Salutation here. What? There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Alright. Nice going there, Mr. Sh Mr. Shadworth. Why can't I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra important prosecutor, super duper prosecutor. Super duper duper. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. Whoa! That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the Lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. Huh? This is Lesser? What is the greater one like? 
The greater Mugatama is displayed in the main room at Fay of Fay Manor. It was supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Crane exhibit, but it was so large that they couldn't bring it through the doors. The whole world is actually one big Magatama. It's Magatamas all the way down. It's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up on it too. You know, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Chadworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? Happy birthday to you. Stop that. Cut that. Please don't blow out the altar candles. There's flowing script written everywhere on the walls. Man, I bet you'd have awful nightmares if you tried to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magic spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, the Uggy Woogie Boogie Man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity? Alright. Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? Oh, it's a warmed cat box. But where are the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are a type of zabuton cushions called Enza. Why are you giving me such a hard time? Huh, Mr. Chadworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be good a good thing for you, Detective. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about 9 when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Well, wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime, or sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> the way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Ha ha ha. Ho ho. Ugh. I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. Ho ho, you get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Shadworth? Okay, what you saw. Alright then, I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11. Ah, no, I can't say it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let go of my tie. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. Kinda looks like she's enjoying that, doesn't she? Like, like what? All right, and then and then they dragged the corpse impaled on the sword over to the to the statue and put it back in, wasn't it? The other one was stabbing her from back from the back with a sword. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes or my shoes. It'd be like stabbing. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of a courtroom. And I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. No, you've never caught us. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural? The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. What the fuck? As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter, so bad that I can't even lift the bucket. Bad lower back added to the court record. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I'd better try to get some more details. I mean, I don't really... At first I was suspicious of her, because, you know, just usually like the, oh look, I'm, I'm so sweet and funny characters end up being kind of like having an evil side. But I'm not really getting a, a lie kind of vibe from her, and also the Magatama didn't go off, so... 
Like, but that's not always a surefire thing. So she really did witness that. So like, it can't be that simple. So who is this acolyte that was to train with the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fei. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, no, no. Of course not. You don't have to worry about that, that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know what- do you know that small girl? I believe she is missing Maya's little sister. Maya has a little Oh, fuck, Pearl! Did we find her? Oh, oh, you mean little Pearl? That's my face cousin. Little Pearl. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner, clean up. But I haven't seen her since all last, late last night. She's already found- Well, did you tell the police? You mean she- she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. Wait, did you tell the police? You are the police! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Uh, I mean, I, re I feel like we should be very worried about this. Like, we should have, like, fucking search parties out and shit. She's nine. Oh, this poor girl. Where could she have gone? Well, we checked her out her home and she's not there. Oh, so they do know. Maybe? I don't know. And she's nowhere in the vicinity of the temple either. Which means there's only a few other possibilities to where she could be. Hopefully she's over there with Maya. Uh, do you think maybe she fell off the bridge and was carried downstream? Thank you so much, Gumshoe. Why do you have to be such a pessimist, Detective? Uh, I was just trying to think like you, Mr. Chadworth. Ironic, I became a pessimist only after I had the pleasure of working with you. Let's talk about the victim. Oh, how could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all, it's all, it's all my fault. Shit. W quiet, what do you know anyway? Ouch, you're scary. With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad you weren't the one that disappeared. Why does she have to take it out all out on me? Her anger does seem a little manufactured. <sighs> you said you went with Maya to the training hall in the inner temple last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the ten o'clock bell for lights out. You're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good, obedient girl. After that, I had Iris help Mystic Maya begin her training. But that doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. She said that she never went to the Inner Temple. As they say, the plot thickens. The plot, like the waifu. Hey, what do you know about Godot? Uh, about this here. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we start to break our attachments and Mr. Turns material anomalies. You can call me an immaterial girl. Nice! I guess she lives in an immaterial world. Nice! Uh huh, Mr. Chadworth? It's all my fault. Me and my stupid back. Mystic Elise has been murdered and an important accolade is trapped. And a little girl has been lost. You know, you really shouldn't be so negative. It creates bad karma. Quite right. I need to do some more training myself, I think. Alright, what about Mystic Maya? She's a very important visitor, you know, an honored accolade. Honored? How so? The Fey name is synonymous with the crane... Korean channeling technique. Therefore, she must be a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now that you mention it, one year ago, there was a case that was about the master of the Korean channeling technique. Detective, I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say she has midi chlor. <laughs> ho ho ho, so it gives you the creeps, huh, Mr. Chatterworth? I can't believe that was a real line. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with it. This is Mystic Elise's apprentice, is it not? I think he might have a bit of a crush on me, sweet boy at any rate. Huh? Oh, I don't blame him. Sister Bikini understands the temptations of young men. Sure. But I'm afraid it wouldn't be proper to abuse my position. I am head nun, after all. But in return, I did allow him to draw a portrait of me. I pray it was a pose that maintained your modesty for everyone's sake. Alright, uh, so let's see. Do you know anything about this? Do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? 
Is that addressed to Iris? Yep, clearly says to Iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. Okay, what do you think about this? Um, about this- okay, you don't care. What about this? Oh, how could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all- it's all- it's all my fault. Okay, then we do this one anyway. Yeah, we do this one, okay. What about this picture? Well, look at that. I look pretty S to the x -y, don't you think? Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Up until recently, we've avoided exposure in such magazines, but this time we had our reasons. Is that so? For example, ah ha ha, well, why deny the world of such a lovely face? Hmm. Was that a deflection? Well, 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 that's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. Hmm, that's why we always wear these for protection. Oh, I see. What are you waiting for? What, you, you won't get any protection just by holding it, you know? Put it on already. No, I can't. I was just... Ha ha ha, ho ho! Ho ho ho, it's like it was made just for you, Mr. Chadworth. What do you mean by that, Detective? It looks absolutely marvelous. You've just got to keep it on for a while. Is this some sort of divine retribution? Huh, uh, well, 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 look what you found. That's the master of the crane channeling technique, Myst Mystic Misty Fay. Fay, it's been nearly 20 years since Mystic, Mystic Misty's dis disappearance. Apparently, she intended to pass on the master title to her daughter. Who is this daughter? Well, I myself am part of the a branch family of the Fay clan, but even I am not privy to information concerning the main family. But that's... That's one of the fake, fake clan's very own Magatamas. That's a priceless treasure you've got there. Wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never failed to surprise me. Yes, you don't look it, but now I can see you're a real fan of the occult. Excuse me. Oh, of course this piece couldn't possibly be real, but to have such a nice replica. Clearly, you are a big fan of the Korean tradition. Wow, I'm impressed, sir. You never failed to surprise me. I should have known better than to show this thing around. I'm a lawyer. Um, about this here. Okay, he doesn't care. Received from right, he wasn't serious when he gave this to me, was he? He was fucking deadly serious. Okay, so courtyard. Oh, damn. February 8th, Hezekura Temple Courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. Why would you remove the body? I need to see it. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really Chadworth? There's been a lot of imposters lately. Are you really going to defend that nun Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through my commitment. My word is my bond. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out, flow out on its own. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Yes, you do that, detective. Just how much has your has your runny spout leaked over the years? Okay, so if if Godot is Diego, which I mean, like, if it's not, then I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, we have, there's a lot of like counterpart characters to this, or the same character, like like Iris and Dahlia, Godot and Diego, and then there was that whole imposter thing with Phoenix Wright and shit. Damn, if, if only there was a word for some some sort of element of, of, a, of a work like repeating in some way but I don't know it um anyway uh so we have like so this time she's she's innocent I'm guessing so this time it's it's the same um it's the same people involved in it only the defense attorney is now the prosecutor the prosecutor is now the defense attorney and the guilty party is now the falsely accused so that's interesting and Mia's dead. What's this? It looks like a wizard's staff. That belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Nim. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah? Listen to this, just between- Listen, just- This is just between us, okay sir? Yes. What? I love you. This is the top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright. 
I have a girlfriend. It's Maggie Bird. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? Fucking gumshoe wanted to be a wizard. Add it to the court record. That's it. This staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Victim staff added to the court record. It's a lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight because I can't afford electricity. Detective, can you not afford to pay electricity bill? Yeah. How did you know? Ah, I just love skiing. Really, you don't um, seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds, nah. They're a little too kitty, you know? Messes with my hard-boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Chadworth? Uh, is the world starting to go mad? Go make some more weenies. The main gate must be over that stone wall. Just over the stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of po paucity of words? Paucity. Choosing your words carefully. Paucity. I think I've seen this word before, but I can't remember it. Presence of some the presence of something only in a small or insufficient quantities or amount of scarcity. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing now? I think that's it. So the, so the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called sword, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I su there, there's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. Yeah, it's really obvious, so we didn't even check. It has to be. Yeah, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the, sh of the sword, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. I never knew Wright went through this. No wonder he had to use magical powers. The apparent murder weapon. Ooh, apparent. Has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. Man, maybe in, maybe in that picture that we saw, uh, it wasn't actually the sword being pushed in. It was the sword being pulled out. Actually, th that's um, that's a recall, right? Like, And when it's a recall, that's not accurate or uh, considered to be like a 100% thing. The main hall of Hasakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right, but I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Hasakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and the back of the main hall are on different levels. Interesting! Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how you can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. Okay, so, like... If you got up here, that would be ground level from outside? Alright. The victim is the famous picture book author, Melissa Elise Doxim. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. Yeah, you find them all over the place. That's another another family member that supposedly went missing and came back. That's that's another repeated thing. And the estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to, to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes. The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building? That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Shadworth. That just happens to be the room that Elise Dunaxon was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out the window after she was stabbed by the sword. Elise's autopsy report adds to the court record. Okay. Now then, detective, let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay, let's take a look at the map. 
Do, 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 According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they'd finished dinner, she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple. Bada bada bum bada bada bum bum. 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 All right, so this is gonna come back. So someone interrupts them or something on on the way. Like, gotta be at 10 p.m. after ringing the bells for lights out. Iris went to the inner temple. No. No, that's wrong. When she got there, Bikini had to take over while she went back to the Hezekura temple. Oh, wait, but... Okay, so she went there and then she went back? Or did Bikini confirm that? I thought Bikini just said she asked her to go. I didn't think she... Hmm, okay, interesting. After taking a hot bath to soothe her back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you'd ask Bikini yourself in the main hall, the inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. Our trial. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of defense attorney. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, hmm, well, Godot didn't make it. Uh, uh, Chatterworth, I would like you to be the, the defense attorney and the prosecutor. Just go to the different sides of the courtroom when, when you make your case. <laughs> okay, Your Honor, I'll do that. <laughs> Yeah, I can see why. I'm not the one you need have to worry about. I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. Nah, he won't. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. <gasps> Wait, we've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Wait, it's Canadian judge? Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Chadworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Wait, what? What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to the bikini... Two bikini, sorry. It's an old building we used for training acolytes. It's on the other side of the dusky bridge. And we are... Uh, out of time, so time to go have a break. So I'm gonna leave um, chuckling uh, gumshoe on here with the music, and I'll be back in five, 10 minutes. So plan today is to go for five hours and five hours tomorrow. So there'll be another break two hours from now, and then we'll go for an hour when I get back, unless we're in a bad part to stop, and then we will do another same similar stream tomorrow to finish the game. So uh, go get up, walk around, brush your teeth, get a drink. I'll be back in five, 10 minutes.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the gumshoe chuckling. Do 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 do. Uh, thank you, Bouncy Bob, for the 400 bits. Thank you, T Just TT, for the 38 month resub. Thank you, Kratos Saron, for the 35 month resub. Thank you, Singularity 312 for the 19 month resub. Thank you, Biscuit Badger, for the 12 month resub. Welcome to the one year club, Biscuit Badger. And thank you, Bouncy Bob, for another 100 bits. I think it's 500 bits solo just now. Thank you, Bouncy Bob. Do, 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 do. Dragon's Den is talking about lightning. Yeah, I know that they, they can detect lightning strikes around the world. I know they have that technology now, but I don't think they could they could detect it um, to the point where they know exactly in an area where it struck. I think it's the atmospheric disturbances that they can detect that they know that there was lightning strike in this area, isn't it? Like, maybe they can, they can give you like a rough estimate of where it struck, but I don't think they could say it struck this this place specifically down to like a, a like a one meter squared area or anything like that maybe i'm wrong but i don't know if they could like when this game come out it's based in the future though isn't it Do, 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 do. a witness all lightning was technology this time yeah but it was like it was technology before so that's why I was getting I was getting angry, but this time it's a, it's a witness that um, is uh, saying it. I guess they have some data that's corroborating it. Maybe not sure. So I said, dusky bridge, the bridge that burned down, huh? Hmm, why would you want to burn down the bridge? What are you trying to hide? Coincidental bridge burning? It can't be. It can't be. Is there anything else on the other side of, the, of that bridge besides the temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Ah, Chadworth cares now. He's Careworth. Every eight has a Kura Temple main gate. Hmm, I don't see Larry anywhere. All the birds, evil birds are here. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a number of psycho locks. I guess I have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. Who knew? All right, are we going to the Heavenly Hall? Do, 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 do. We presented everything to you, didn't we? Look, I'm just your everyday symbol detective. Don't ask me such tough questions. Okay, okay, until we need to, until we hit that end, I'm just not gonna present anything to gum, to, to gum shoe. That's not something to be proud of, detective. All right, I guess we're going to the Heavenly Hall. No, we're going to the detention center. February 8th, detention center, visitor's room. Ah, uh, Mr. Chadworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions if you don't mind, but I, I've already told you everything that I, Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything, even if you did it. You have, we have a confidentiality agreement. If you tell me you did it, though, I'll probably accidentally slip up in courtroom. Yes, thank you. Inner Temple. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hezekura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Nim with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when my fae began began her training in the inner temple. You were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the inner temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the inner temple that very night. But, but I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the inner temple last night. Hmm. Looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. Cycle locks now. 
Were you afraid of lightning? Were you afraid of Larry? Okay, let's go see if we can find Larry first. No? Okay, so I presented everything I had to Bikini. Um, and I've, I think I've examined everything. Maybe it's just the blackmail letter is what she's afraid of? Um, let's just do it while we're here. It'll only take a second. There's a lot we don't know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background, we don't know anything really. That's rather odd. If she was trying to hide her identity, why would she become an author? I'll bet it was just one of those things, you know? She probably never expected to get so popular. So then she needed to die. And we did this one, right? This one, okay, how about... Whenever something happens, this guy always shows up like he hasn't got a care. In fact, you know what? Every time he shows up, I always wonder the same thing. Maybe somehow he's actually the cause of all these incidents. I wonder if Gumshoe has realized it yet, but you could say the exact same thing about him. Damn, it's like murder she wrote. Your face is more drawn out than last time I saw you over a year ago. Really? I thought so. No way. It's not so much drawn out as weary and tired, or maybe just plain old thin. I thought that too, sir. My salary's been kinda on the low end, so yeah, my food options have been kinda non-existent. Off-brand chicken soup, off-brand spaghetti, off-brand off -brand bread, that sort of stuff. I thought you were really in into instant noodles last year. I got really sick of the stuff after a while, sir. Damn, and he still made all those weenies for, for Maggie, damn. He's supposed to be Miss Elisa Stenaxum's apprentice or something. I see. Yeah, he drew a nice portrait of me. That's nice. But he made me pay him 50 cents for it. I'm sorry about that. You don't seem very interested in him, Mr. Chadworth. I really don't want to talk about him, that's why. There's a lot we don't know about this victim. Okay, that's probably the same thing, yeah. I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Shit, that was Chadworth. Was it from a prior case, was she? Nope, can't be. We did a database search with her fingerprints and came up with nothing. What? Does... Okay, there could be lots of explanations for that. Let's see what it is. I see. I just can't shake this nagging feeling. Well, everyone knows that you are quite popular with ladies, sir. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to Dumpsville when you were younger. Detective, where did you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear it from anyone. I just sort of ima it's, it's just sort of how I imagine you to be, sir. But do I really inspire this sort of frothing desire from the female masses? Aw, oh, man, what a call out. Not just them. I usually hear about promising young prosecutor candidates while they're still in school, but I've never seen or heard of this person. Okay, maybe I misremembered it. Maybe he, maybe Chadworth didn't say anything. Maybe someone else. I gotta admit, he's puzzling, all right. He disappeared one day, big mug of steaming coffee in his hand. Hmm, he sounds like an interesting man. Yeah, he had, he had a prosecutor's badge, and he just, you know, waves it around saying, this means I'm a prosecutor, I have to be one, and everyone just went along with it. So, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, the whole prosecutor's office is really into double espresso machia, machitos lately? I don't know what that is. This is the witness who saw the crime take place out of there in the temple courtyard. I'm pretty sure it's going to be your testimony that'll be key to this case, sir. If you mean she's going to be a witness in the trial tomorrow. Of course. A nun is as trustworthy as you can get. We got this one in the bag, even though another nun is the accused. 
Oh, I mean, I've always been on your side, Mr. Charles. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty tight spot we've gotten ourselves into, huh? Now I understand why Wright is always breaking into a cold sweat. I wonder if Maya. I wonder if Maya is all right. I could never show my face to Wright again if something were to happen to her. That was also Chadworth. Shit. Oh, uh, it'll be okay. If that ever happens, you can just show him my face. How's that? Ah, um, I didn't mean it like that, sir. It was just a silly little joke. I wonder if there is another way to get across the other side. The support wires for, for the bridge are still intact, correct? Yeah, you could hold on and just shimmy across. That bridge is almost 20 yards long. I know I may look like it, Mr. Chadworth, but I'm not no superhero. In any case, I just hope Maya's all right. What about Pearl? Has no one seen her at all last, since last night? Seems that way. Apparently, she hasn't gone back to Crane Village either, sir. How would she? She's nine. But it's true that she was with Elise Nim at some point last night. No doubt about it. Uh, you mean that maybe whoever killed Miss Denaxim is also... Don't jump to any crazy conclusions. Ouch. You sure have one mean punch, Mr. Chadworth. It's downright fierce. Do 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 Okay, so it must be the blackmail. Are you planning to cover Cyberpunk 2077 in a future video? Is that what you're only doing on stream? Sorry if it's a nice bunch. Uh, it probably has, but I haven't answered it. Uh, almost certainly there will be a video on Cyberpunk 2077. Yep, almost certainly. Uh, I don't know what's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be like shortly after like like uh, Witcher 3 uh, project is done and everything like that. Um, it, it won't be the next video after that for sure. But uh, yeah, it, there will probably be a video on some point. Like, um, I I'm not saying 100% because what if I have nothing to say, but after studying CD Projekt Red's game so much uh, with Witcher 1, 2, and 3, like, I, I can't imagine that there I wouldn't have at least an hour of stuff to say about 2077, right? Okay, we did this before, that's why I'm skipping over it. All right, and we tried some stuff. It's basically what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your room because we're trying to find out if she's lying about something. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's the blackmail, right? Uh, you're, you are scared of the blackmailer. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Ah, uh, that's, well, well, Iris, why, why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? Uh... Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? It was both. Oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, but Mr. Chadworth... Yes. I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Epic prank, bro. Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it that would cause me any grief. Hmm, I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Uh, Phoenix? Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. Ah. You mean something you mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. What the fuck is going on? After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm, where is it on this map?
All right, so my working theory right now is that there is a connection between these two and that that uh, gate that we saw that was barred is some sort of secret tunnel that connects these two. But like, it, like that would be pretty extreme because it's like a 40 foot drop, right? So it have to be really deep to go over there. Maybe it leads to some other, other sort of bridge over here, a secret bridge or something. I don't know, we'll see. It's around here to get there. You must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge, but the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart? Yes. It looks as though I may have to visit this Heavenly Hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you, can still, you still claim to never have left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. Iris' testimony added to the court record. Rang lights out at bell. Lights out bell at 10 p.m. Was in the room to the last The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. Who are you? But when I when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. How can that be? How can that be? You see, you see, when Phoenix Wright got hit over the head in that court in that tutorial case in 2-1, he actually blacked out for a number of days and had a secret relationship with Iris. And then he, he gained his memory and forgot all about it. I, I have I have a batshit theory, but I'm not gonna say it because if if my batshit theory is is correct, like I I don't think anyone will will believe that I came up with it by myself. So I'm not gonna say it. I'm not so I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, where are we going? Everyone's saying say it. No, if if I say it. And, and I'm right. <sighs> okay, I, I like my idea that that there's like Dahlia is dead and and possess her the whole time. But the fact that the fingerprints and everything that is, and and that like she's saying that Wright doesn't know who I am or anything is making me think that 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 that's not the case. If if anything, I'm thinking that there there was some sort of possession going on with with her being seen, but she promises that she wasn't there. Something to do with pearls. That, that's why I was looking at Pearl earlier. I was like, like when she's missing and then like she was there and all this other shit. Like that, that doesn't match up. But my batshit theory with her is that she's Dahlia's fucking twin, and when when they were having Having a relationship with, with with Phoenix Wright, like like they were like swapping out sometimes, and he didn't know that sometimes he was with Iris and sometimes he was with Dahlia. So that's that's my stupid batshit theory. Hopefully I'm wrong. Heavenly Hall. Whoa! Look at all this shit. I'm not looking at chat. February eight. Heavenly Hall. Whoa! Not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Tisk, someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Oh, why, why, why? Why does it always this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chase one of them to Japan. Next, it's going to be prison, I guess. <laughs> They'll steal into this wallet. They'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. Oh, he's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that. What did he do, I wonder? Did you blackmail her? Like, just, like, taking a shot in the dark to get her down here? Hey, you. About what you just said. I got an objection. What the? Edgy, you dirty rat. Glare, gumshoe, you oaf. Gumshoe, you oaf. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, it I was shouting out objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. Gig? Jig, right? It's jig. Yeah, is up. What do you have to? Go what do you got to say for yourself? Uh. This is a very not what I expected at all. This is a nice place. Oh, there's the bridge. 
It's a little far, but I have to, a pretty clear view of Dusky Bridge from here. Uh, I really can't believe it, really. What is it, Larry? Huh? Or, uh, nothing, it's nothing. Sounds pretty sus to me. Something about that statement smells, and you know what they say. What is this festive looking ornament? It reminds me of art class in grade school. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with origami, remember? Well, I... Oh yeah, you were never any good at it. Really? Chadworth was bad at something? Yeah, this guy was so bad he couldn't even fold a dollar, let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he would just sit there sobbing. Really? I never would have expected that. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. <laughs> you... <laughs> you want a crane? I can now make a perfect quarter-inch crane without a single funny dedicated time to this. He had a flaw, so he had to fix it. You know, Edgy? Nothing for nothing, but a quarter-inch crane without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's quite a feat, Prosecutor Shadworth. Yeah, I showed you. This is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Do, 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 do. This is the Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, so it doesn't ice over, even in the winter. If it had iced over, Wright would have been in some serious trouble. You're right about that. He would have landed on the ice and slid downstream to who knows where. Not exactly what I meant, but alright. It's a horrible graffiti problem you got there, pal. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. Larry, do you know what the difference between graffiti and true art is? That's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all my lunchboxes are masterpieces too, pal. Wow, it's no masterpiece. The straw roof is totally covered with freshly fa fallen powdery snow. Wow, it makes a nice image, doesn't it? I always did like the rustic look. Heavenly Hall. I suppose it's an appropriate name in some sense. You got that right. Look at that bridge up there. This place is, has to be heaven because that thing is hell. You would do well to remember, Larry, that this is a sacred place to some people. Wow. What's that? What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Er, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place. It's, er, artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like a, it's about to collapse. Sounds, like a, sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. One thing's for sure, no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Here, have a drink of hot water. Thank you for the hot water. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? She's fucking cute. Watch your mouth. Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Marry that girl. Um, Mr. Chatworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. Have you already asked the girl, this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He'd never imagine that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I going to do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Hmm. If we really want to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him onto the witness stand. Right, the night of the crime. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Aw oh, man, don't don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. Okay, okay. I'm actually enjoying this investigation. This is a, not just because we're showerworth either. Although maybe the novelty is adding to it. This is this is one of the best investigations so far. I feel like it's moving quite well. Uh, okay, okay. Chill out with those scary eyes. I got it. If you really want to know, no, no, last night I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Another one, or is it the same one? Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized? But I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him. And I don't like drinking hot water, either. 
can we go into the thing? We can't. God damn. All right. So um, let's present some evidence. Hey, uh, did you did you send this shit? Hey, I don't know. The other side. Okay, so you don't you don't want to talk about anything. That's the staff. That oh, you do. Miss Elise always is carrying. Miss Elise, why? Huh? What is it, Larry? There's something missing from the staff. There's something missing. Oh, nice. Good thing we did it. Okay, when he starts with hey, it's it's nothing. All right. Still can't believe it. She was such a great person, but someone's pinning this murder on my sweet little Iris. Edgy, please, I'm counting on you. Well, frankly, I was hoping you could give me a little more than that. Er, well then. I got it. I'll draw you a portrait. How about that? Since you're kind enough to offer, all right. Damn. I'm a lawyer. Couldn't think of it when you were a kid. You were always saying, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people or something like that. That was a long time ago. That was before the origami incident. But see, now you've got the chance to follow your boyhood dream for a day. Edgy, you got to do it. you got to save my little Iris. Oh, Ch Chowworth can make like a fucking like crazy good in, um, uh, paper uh, attorney badge. Grr, this is exactly why I hate shelter friends. He was a good guy, a real pal to the end. When I look back now, I'm, I have nothing but good memories. What's with the past tense? He's not dead, you know. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the guy owes me after all I saved his life. What is that supposed to mean? If I hadn't called for help so quickly, he would have died. It's no surprise, though. I used to be a security guard. It was all instinct, baby. He has a point. He called me pretty quickly, too. I think Larry's pretty good at motivating people. I just wish he would try motivating himself once in a while. I mean, he's wearing a, like a, like a monkey shirt. I think he's fine. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, so hey... Huh? Me? All you have to know is, is to remember not to call me Larry anymore. What? I'm a new person now. I've been reborn as Loris Doxinum. Alright, fine. Let me ask you something else then, Larry. Call me Loris. If you don't, then I'll call you. I'll call you Malise Doxinum. Okay, yeah, we did that already. already. I have a feeling that she's hiding something. Could be, after all, she's shy and gets embarrassed pretty easily. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Why not? Look, I know all about this kind of thing. Come on, Chatty. You were a guy once. Lots of girls... You were a guy once? Lots of girls are like Iris. You know I'm right. Well, you most certainly seem to have convinced yourself. Man, I love shy girls like her. It's just so cute. You know what I mean? Still doesn't listen to others, I see. I guess some people just never change. I'm guessing that's like a translation error that you were like you were young and a player once, but like I don't know. I'm just no good with people like her. She reminds me too much of my mother. May I speak now? Huh? Sure. I don't care how you feel about her personally. Just tell me what you know about her and how she's related to the case. Don't you think you're expecting a little too much of me? I'm just a 25-year-old jobless bum trying to be an apprentice artist. Ha ha ha. I'm actually starting to feel jealous of this guy. Just a little. <laughs> oh, it's Maya. Nick was trying to save her, you know, but instead he wound up falling off the bridge. I'm not surprised, though. Nick always gets himself into trouble. Well, if he isn't the... Well, if it isn't the pot calling the kettle black... Didn't we do this already? I just hope that Maya doesn't catch a cold, too, or something worse. Oh, hey, it's Pearl. But she's way cuter than this Pearl I used to go out with, like, in a kid-cute way, yeah? Yes, well, apparently she hasn't been seen the whole morning. What did you say, Chatty? Why are you wasting your time with me, then? What's wrong with you? Excuse me. If anything happens to her, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, that's- he's got a point! Like, why are- Wow, I guess he's right for a change. Yeah, he it! Now I feel like I'm the bad guy in all this. Yeah, we're still not gonna go do it, though. Oh, I thought- what? I thought by asking him about this, it opened up a new dialogue. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess we have to we have to break through his psycho locks now. Bless you, Larice. The night of the crime. All right. Now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? 
Well, that was that was a bit too easy. Yeah. Anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last night, I started it started thundering. I've been sleeping, not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went white, like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend Naomi. And then, and then it was on fire. The bridge was on fire. Dusky bridge ca caught on fire. Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye and telling the truth? Wait, you actually saw the lightning hit the br It was just a coincidence? <sighs> hmm, there are still three psychologs remaining. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? Where, where are you say? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room, by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. <laughs> Problem, I suspect, lies there. There? What do you mean, there? It's impossible for you to see the lightning strike dusky bridge from your room. Okay, um, I think they might have just said it, but where, where's the room? Okay, where's the map? On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think there, that, sh that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me with no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step and break the second cycle lock. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then, where were you? You don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry, and why was he there? If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well then, let's test my theory. The place you witnessed the lightning strike Dusky Bridge from was here. He was in Heavenly Hall. The place you saw the lightning strike was naturally Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Ah, uh, uh-oh. In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. And that proves that you were there last night. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Chatty. You're in a totally different league from Nick. Whoa, what are you talking about? Th that's nice. Now tell me, what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Yeah, that that's what it is. Uh, could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh, no. Oh, no. You are really the one scary guy, you know? I believe last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Leon. There's only one person you'd wait for wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all, cold all over, Edgy. No doubt because of my chilly glare. So you think I've got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you were waiting for Iris. Okay, gotta be the blackmail note, right? Gotta be. Here's your evidence. Shove it up your ass. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey, hey, give that back. You're embarrassing me. What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What was the plan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell everyone your secret. And then she shows up and she's like, okay, what's the secret that you're gonna tell everyone? And he's gonna be like, the secret is that you and I are now dating. And then he gives her finger guns and he's like, yeah, nailed it. This, this got her interested. And then she just walks out. Like, what was the plan? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Taking advantage of a woman's frail, frailty like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, oh, first of all, what's what's this at the top of the letter? It says salutation. <laughs> well, that's what it said in that book. Letter writing for dummies. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> it was placeholder for put your own salutation and he just wrote. Translation thing, but <laughs> you're not 
some stuff she wrote that. That's where you're supposed to write, dear Iron. <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry. Unlock successful. Oh, the night of the crime. So you are here in Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? So sorry, chatty. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag. Threatening a young lady like that. So you actually did see the lightning, Galt. Wait, hold up. What now, pal? What are you talking about? That threat- what threatening stuff? I'll tell you- I'll tell you what! You tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? When did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me that letter. It's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? What did you just say? My love for her burned so hotly it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Oh, then what is the secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy, Chatty, don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. <laughs> Obviously, she wouldn't want. <laughs> Old Lady Bikini to know about her. <laughs> about her hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. <laughs> All right, then why did you send a love letter in a business like Manila envelope? Give me a break. It's not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh. Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Chatty gave me the such scary look of his. What's wrong, Chatty? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it. That's what all those huge locks were about. I don't understand why you were so defensive. <laughs> well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is, you shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on, don't let it get you down. When does Larry die? But Mr. Chadworth, this guy's still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy said just a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry, what? You're looking for Emmy like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? Lightning hitting a bridge, it was fucking awesome. Fucking lit. Literally. You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. Something incredible. I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Well, what doesn't? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have all had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. Well, what? When? Where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Shadworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Uh, before I get uh, further behind, thank you to Excerpt for the 2 month 3 sub. Thank you very much, Excerpt. That was 30 minutes ago. Sorry about that. Thank you, Enyo, for the 13 month 3 sub. I don't know how my contact in, so I have to lean in to, to read it. Thank you, Enyo, for the 13 month 3 sub. Thank you, Fonden, for the new sub. Welcome, Fonden. Thank you. Thank you, Ship Go Sink, for the 19 month 3 sub. Makes me think of uh, sinking an, an iPod every single time. Thank you, Shripo Sink. And thank you, Crepus. Crepus Scalopy. Fucking hell. Crepus Scalopy. That's gotta be close for the 713 sub. I think I got it right one time and then I can never get it right again. Thank you for the 713 sub. Do, 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 do. Uh. Uh, again? Whoa, okay. No, no. What's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt landing? Even Chower thinks this is a shitty system. I just about had it with this, with, with this Harlequin. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. To be continued. Oh, we're done! God damn. Alright. Here we go. February 9, 948, 9 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby number one. Day two of Maya being stuck in the fucking temple. And no one, we, oh, we've managed to get a trial going, but we still haven't gotten Maya off a mountain. Oh my, Mr. Larice feels that way about me? Apparently, he isn't aware of your real secret at all. 
This is no time to be embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm just hardly accustomed to that sort of thing. Don't worry not, and in any case, whatever it was that he saw on the night of the incident, mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Larice is the witness today? No. I believe that none would be the first to take the stand. Sister Bikini. She claims to have seen the very instant which in which you carried out the crime. I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you who killed Miss Elise Deoxnim, correct? That is correct. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Well, the Magatama has it set off, so I believe you very well then. Um, Mr. Shadworth. Yes. You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? If your true identity is revealed. Don't worry, I've made the necessary arrangements. I see. Iris. It is a prosecutor's job to doubt people. But right now, I am a defense attorney, so I believe you. A defense attorney's job is to believe in people, and to believe until the bitter end. That's what my friend told me once. I'll do my best to do it. Mr. Chadworth, I simply ask that you watch and decide for yourself whether or not I am fit to do the task I have been entrusted. Very well, sir. I will go along with this. I leave my defense in your capable hands. Yes, my capable, gigantic, gigantic hands. February 9, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 7. Is he going to be on the left side? Oh, shit. Oh. <sighs> it's a fucking Canadian judge. Oh, man. I don't know if I can do the Canadian thing the whole time. I was losing it yesterday. Oh. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Sister Iris of Hezakura Temple, eh? The defense is ready, Your Honor. Damn. The defense does indeed appear to be ready, but the prosecutor not so much. Can you do both roles for us then, eh? However, the same cannot be said for the prosecutor in this case. Indeed. I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this court's time. An empty prosecutor's chair can only mean that the prosecutor has no confidence in their ability to prove their case. It would seem this case is already over before it had a chance to begin. I'm ready to announce my verdict at this time. This court finds the defendant not guilty. Confetti court! No. Prosecution stands ready, uh, and you are a Francisco von Conra, prosecuting prodigy. Lost every case last game, by the way. Uh, von Karma, you say? Perchance you wouldn't be of any relation to the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. Legends are a thing of the past. I am a von Karma. That is all. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purposes of prosecuting this case. You did, then. You must be quite a big shot, eh? Chadworth, did you call in Von Karma to stop this from just being over before it started? Like, what? By the way, Mr. Chadworth. Yes, Your Honor. I'm almost certain that I've seen you somewhere before, eh? Or am I just imagining things? You look very much like a prosecutor I am at once. I believe you are imagining things, Your Honor. Miss Von Karma, do you have anything to say? There is no such weakling as this man among those of the prosecutor's office. There, there, there isn't a, but I'm sure once before in this courtroom. Ah, I told you, there is no such weakling. Stop being a foolish, you foolish fool. What is that, a whip? I'm not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom. Out of the courtroom, though. Well, that's all right with me. Bailiff, remove that whip at... I have no objection to the whip. Whoa, damn. Chowers a good one. You don't. The prosecution can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee, but there is still only ah, oh, they're back. There is still only one truth, and that is what I and that is what I stand here to prove today. This promises to be interesting, Miles Shadworth. I'd expected to face Phoenix Wright here today, but looking at you now, maybe this is what I have been waiting for all this time. Miles Shadworth, I will not allow this chance to crush. To crush you, slip through my fingers. Okay, sorry. Ha ha ha, nothing can slip through my fingers. I see you brought your flair for the his histrionic. 
Allow me to add to things I'm not I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. It's like I'm back in fucking Moncton I am. Whoa! The stage is set. Now continue with the proceedings, Your Honor. Very well. Miss Von Karma, please give an outline of this case. With as little whipping as possible, eh? The murder victim- I've heard so many voices now! The prosecution would like to call a surprise witness, right from the heartland. Here she is, talk! Gore, the, victim, the murder victim is the famed picture book author, Miss Elise Dinoxnim. Her body was found in the Haz Hazakura Temple Courtyard. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword from a golden statue. The sword in this picture is the weapon in question, correct? Very well. The court accepts this photo of the crime scene. Doesn't look like something you could play lacrosse with at all, the courtyard where at least the next one was murdered. There is no mistake. This was the doing of Sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Yeah, very well. I'll go along with this, eh? Please bring this witness to the stand. And so it begins. My first and last trial as a defense attorney. Nah. Witness, state your name and occupation, please. Hold on here. I'm not sure about... I'm not sure about not being sure if I care for this at all. <laughs> please stand up nice and straight. If I call, recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the defendant's lobby for our back pain played witness. Bailiff, fetch a crate for this poor lady, please. Aw, oh, there you go, you hoser. Stand up nice now. Once again, your name and occupation, please. Little old me, well, I'm the head nun of Hazakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini, you got it? Bikini, nice to meet everyone. What's a bikini, eh? I'm from the frozen wasteland of Canada. I don't know what that is. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Oh, uh, the courtroom is in the, is the garden of holy judgment. Those with lechery in their hearts should leave the sanctity at once. Sanctuary at once. You want me to leave? No need to get your bikinis in a twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in summer. Wah ha 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 ha. In any case, witness, I hear that you saw the crime take place on the night in question. That's right. I can still hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that. Let us hear what you have to say then. First, tell us a boot. <laughs> a boot your own movements that night, eh? The night of the murder. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but, well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently, so I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to the Hezekura temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. It was after I had finished, just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it. Hmm. So it's simply coincidence that you found yourself returning to Hezekura temple. Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been so in so much pain, I would have stayed at the inner temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. There was only one problem with this testimony that I could see. It was too long, and you're not about to fall for the first hurdle now, are you, Miles Chadworth? Mr. Chadworth, please begin your cross-examination. That night I was helping an acolyte with a training in the temple, but... What is this inner temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be the ones asking you the questions, madam. In order to do the <laughs> strongest spiritual powers required. The voice is so bad. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes must spend an entire night there to, uh, to undergo intense training. Do, 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 do. And how exactly do you help with this process? It is all quite exacting. It can't be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor, watching them make sure a spoiled child studies. A tutor with a whip, in your case. 
If that is the case, then why did you return to Hasakura Temple, where the murder took place? Gaze upon my gigantic hands and tell the truth. Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. Violently. That's right, it's no laughing matter, especially in winter. You can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Just being alive is like strict training. Wahahahaha. -ha 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 -ha. On the night of the murder, was this fabulous back of yours hurting again? That's right, raging like a bull and a pigeon. A pigeon. Big pig pen! Sorry, I almost fainted once or twice. I just knew that unless I warmed it up, it was going to finally finish me off. Back pain is the worst, man. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and returns to Hezekura Temple. You left Iris to help? With what? What do you think? The acolyte's training, of course. It was just past 10pm, so we were starting to enter into the training exercises proper. Wasn't it your place to remain with the disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the acolyte so they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again, that night, you met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest girl. Isn't it really premature to do this trial when people involved in it are still stranded on the mountain? She's never once failed to follow my directions. Surely Maya is important to this, like, there's a girl, what the fuck? There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I need a long hot soap. So you return to the Hazakura temple in order to take a bath. My back is to blame for everything. It's a do-or-to-be-done-in kind of world, after all. How long were you in the bath for, if you don't mind me asking? My, 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 what a filthy little rogue you are. I know what's on your mind. I bet your next question is going to be, where exactly did you wash? Ah, uh, this is why you have to watch the young ones. <laughs> Pathetic, Miles Chadworth. The lowest of the low. Oh no, I'm the other judge now! Is there some sort of kick me sign stuck to the defense's bench? Yeah, <laughs> you're learning! Yeah! Be nice to fucking, uh, fucking Phoenix after this! Anyway, I couldn't afford to be away from my post for too long, you understand, so. It was after I had finished, just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it. The crime took place in the courtyard, correct? When you go from my room to the main hall, you have to take a winding hallway from which you can see the courtyard. That's right, in other words, it was pure coincidence that the witness saw the crime taking place before her eyes. There was no complicated setup in this case. Oh, that certainly seems to be true. There is indeed only one problem with this testimony. If I can clearly point out what it is, then I can begin to quantify just how good this witness's memory and observation skills are. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right. So that that night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple. But well, as you can see, my backlight stacked up violently. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to to Hezekura Temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, so you see. And I need a long hot soak. It was after I had finished, just so I was heading back. That's when I saw it. Okay. So it seems like it's this one that I have to, I have to refute. Okay. So um, can't really see my Okay. So what what do we have? We have. The, a missing uh, g uh, crystal gem thing on a staff, and that the staff has the fingerprints on it. We have the murder weapon um, with fingerprints on it as well. Uh, we have Misty Fay massacring technique. Okay, receive evil spirits. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's relevant right now. The um, the blackmail note has a crystal that shows the surrounding area. Okay, weather data. A cult man seems to has a current temple. Do, 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 do. Taken by her own pupil. The magic bottle. Yeah, there's the gem missing. Rang out at 10 p.m. There was somewhere discovered. Uh, this is autopsy report. Time 10 p.m. Cause of life. Okay, so I guess it's this one against that. Iris says she wasn't there. Objection! Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on their powers of observation and memory, after all. 
Well, 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 don't worry. I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hezekura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. The discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant, Iris. She claims that after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. And then no, she said that. A defendant or a witness? Who is more likely to lie, do you suppose? Well, in this courtroom, judging by every, literally every case, the witness. The defendant is simply lying to cover her back. Every witness has lied. But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazakura Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better alibi. Oh shit, that's a good point. But that is odd. Whatever the reason, I can't believe that she would lie. Hmm, lying is pretty bad, eh? She does indeed have honest eyes. Wow. All people lie. That is my belief, even though I just said the distinction just a second ago. Why am I the only one being whipped in here? I don't whip Chadworth in public. Anyway, neither have neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie, which means you must call your memory into question. Dear, dear, dear. You're older than me, and yet you want to play that game, do you? Ah, well, that, that isn't exactly what I want. My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in winter. Then I suppose it's too early to send this criss send this crisscross examination. <laughs> Just adding shit, Mr. Chadworth. If you are going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show me a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone would do the trick. Then please add your comments to boot Iris to the testimony, and let us return to the cross examination. I'm something that I hold the but as long as you can see, okay. Wait, whoa, 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 where is it? I was getting a tumble, and she's just definitely shipping for dinner. That's new, isn't it? She was dressed. Are you sure you're not making a mistake? You, young man, need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. Ugh. Iris always wears the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. You're making a mistake. Thinking I made a mistake. Excellent. Finish there, witness. Still, I have to wonder. Well, does she have a replacement hood? Witness, let's get one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met, she was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course, that is a very important piece of clothing, I'll have you know. Wahaha, wahaha, haha. -ha. Wait a minute. Hold it right there. Why do you have that? That's the question of the day now, isn't it, Miss Von Karma? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night, before the lights out bell was rung. What? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, then the iris she saw should have been missing this very hood. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just this. <laughs> the boxes. It's not a bad feeling at all exposing contradictions like this. Now I understand that happy look on Wright's face every time he does it. <laughs> order, order in the court, eh? Witness, wah! Sister! This hood! You have spare ones around the temple, do you not? Spares, well... I do tend to make too many of them. I see, a stockpile, eh? A surplus of hoods, eh? Each one is only given one hood. This should be the only hood that Iris owned. Hmm, then this is quite strange. Wah! Well, if there was a surplus of hoods, then she could have worn one of those. There is no contradiction here. Hmm. I'm sorry to break this to you, Miss Von Karma, but you won't get away that easy. Discrepancies such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness. Well, I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt. We're all friends here, eh? You must give every detail with precision. I'm not sure what I'm comfortable going along with this. Sister, you shall continue with your testimony. Tell us what you saw after finishing your bath on your way back to the inner temple. 
Those seeds of doubt are sprouting in the judge's heart. You just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. Not sure how I'm not sure right now about being sure. I finished my bath around 11 and I thought I should return to the inner temple. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look and Iris was, oh, Mystic Elise. Mystic Elise? And with that sword of all things. Mystic Elise? I thought that was just decoration. Mystic Elise was standing in the corner room which faces out onto the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. You saw a truly terrible sight, didn't you? If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Von Karma whipping Mr. Chadworth in, in two in court. And me seeing it from my for, oh, from the search. <laughs> That's what Gumshoe said about or well, something like that. This judge. His imagination is about as vivid and creative as this gumshoe. Yeah, there we go. I would look the fool if I commented on such foolishness. Anyway, this case is mine, Miles Chadworth. Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that habit of yours? After my bath. This is turning into a real hoser of a case. Gonna have to hit up Pizza Delight after this. How far is it from your room to the inner temple? Let me think a moment. About 20 minutes on these stumps of mine. It's about 15 minutes to Dusky Bridge from Hezekura Temple. The inner temple is just beyond the bridge. Still, you never made it back there that night, did you? That's right. I was heading along the walkway toward the main hall. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard and took a look and... You say you heard a noise. Thump. Just like that. That could only be the sound of the victim falling. It's very quiet in the temple, you know. You can even hear the snow falling from the branches. Thump. Just like that. But then, couldn't this noise you have heard been the snow falling to the ground? I never thought of that. Wahaha. Wahaha. Ha ha. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> the next one to laugh gets a whipping. <laughs> well, whatever the source of uh, the sound, I looked over at the courtyard and... Iris was, oh, Mystic Elise, and with that sword of all things. This is the second time that the witness has testified to seeing the defendant, but some doubt remains in these claims. Hey, just what does that, just what does that mean? Just because you're a good-looking young man doesn't give you the right to. The murderer who stabbed the victim with the sword. Sister Bikini, try to recall exactly who it was you saw, as clearly as you can. Hmm. Well, you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Oh, now that you mention it, there was something awfully strange about her. Something that has been bugging me all this time. Please, don't keep us in suspense. Her hood. Her hood! That's right, it's coming back to me. Iris, she wasn't wearing her hood. Does their outfit have these two things here? Because Pearls does. Does Maya? I can't remember. I thought something was out of place, but it all makes sense now, doesn't it? After all, she'd given that hood away to someone, right? Urk. Ah, you've dug your own grave, Mouse Shadworth. What do you say, Mr. Chadworth? Is this testimony important? It's fucking important. This may initially appear to put me at a disadvantage, but I can't see any other leads at the moment. Your Honor, I would like these new statements to be added to the testimony. Heh. <laughs> Miles Chadworth, if you want to hang yourself, you need only ask. I'll gladly lend you my whip. My whip? Witness, add that statement to your testimony, would you, eh? 
No problem. Now you mention it, I just didn't have her hood on. Hold it. Are you sh you are sure about that? Yes, after all, we always wear the same clothes. Uh, I don't mean because we're poor, you understand? It's our style. Yes, that's it. There's absolutely no need to explain yourself. Anyway, she looked different from normal, so that really stuck out. Like me holding a, a whippet puppy instead of my whip. At least then it might bite you and not someone else. Whoa! Iris didn't have her hood on, I'm sure of it. Very well. Now, please tell us about the victim, eh? This will stay in the corner of the courtyard. The room the victim was staying in overlooked the courtyard, correct? Which means the victim's room was on the second floor. No, no. Hazakura Temple is a single story building, but the mountain itself slopes downward. Which elevates the main gate. This is like a particular kind of detail. I wonder if it's because this is how the style of the temple had to be, but they still needed the fall, or is there something really important about that? Which elevates the main gate side of the temple and the guest rooms in the back to a, a, a boot the height of the two story of a two story building. I see. And the victim was staying in one of these elevated rooms, correct? Yes, I should know. I'm the one who carried her things to her room after all. With your back? Whoa! The stabbing I saw must have uh, occurred after she was pushed out of her window. What makes you so sure of all this? It's just like I told you earlier. I heard a noise from the courtyard, okay? Thump, just like that. You're one smart sister. I'll give you that. The autopsy report states that the victim's body was covered in bruises, indicating a fall from around 10 feet in height. Damn, and she just knew that she fell from the window. Huh, it appears that the witness was not mistaken then. Yep, yep, I'm more than just a pretty face, especially in winter. I'm a woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hazakura Temple. There's only two of them working there. What's wrong, Miles Chadworth? No snappy comeback remark. It doesn't feel like she is lying. This is very powerful. This is very powerful testimony, too. She claims to have seen the instant in which the defendant stabbed the victim. There are only two things I can believe in right now. My client, Iris, and my own abilities as a defense attorney. Which are non-existent. I finished my bathroom. Okay, so what can, what can we do? How did she know that, maybe? Like, how did you know she fell? Okay, Ten eleven p.m. Caused lots of blood from stab in the back. Body fell in her death. Around 11. I mean, around 11 could still be like 10.45, right? So, I guess... This is have put on. Mystic Elise was staying in the corner room, which faces out into the courtyard. Stabbing us must have occurred after she was pushed out of the window. Okay, I don't, I don't think we can, uh, we can refute that. It does say, it does say, ten and eleven, right? Oh, after death? What? How can they tell that? Objection. Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. Oh, please do. My brain is something else, especially in winter. However, I think you are overlooking one thing. Miss Von Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? Please, 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 please have her autopsy report be out of date and we and we do the updated autopsy report. Please, please. The the autopsy report. The victim did fall from a height of ten feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. What? My my autopsy report doesn't say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did 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 Gumfuck not tell you? Your autopsy report is out of date. Allow me to give you present this updated autopsy report. Ah, uh, well, that's right. It says after death right here. The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there, there in the courtyard, how did the victim then go on to take a ten-foot fall? Order, order. The victim was killed and then fell. If that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? 
But that, that, is the logical, that is the logical conclusion. Did we search the room? Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And she was then thrown out of her window down into the courtyard below. Objection! Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Denaxim's room? I don't know. We didn't search it. She was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? Well, Miss Von Karma, was there any blood? Wow, no traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found in my glorious playoff beard. <laughs> However, if there was no blood in the courtroom, then you're... So, wow, I'm sure there's no need for me to go over that. Okay, I forgot how an I, I like Von Karma as a character, but the whipping is really annoying. As I'm sure your honor is well aware of when a stab wound produces the most blood. When it produces the most blood, eh? Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. Indeed, when the weapon st is, when the weapon still with with the not when with the weapon still in place, it acts like a lid on the wound. Oh, that's true, eh? With the weapon still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. Remember when I had a hockey stick and paled in my thigh? It's not until they took it out that the blood started going all over the ice. They had to bring out the big ice machine to clean it. A perfectly reasonable line of thinking. We have to con we have come to a conclusion then. The victim was thrown out of the window with the sword still in place. This removes all of the contradictions. I mean, I think we should still go search the room a little bit though. Order, order, eh? I must admit that this is a probable version of events. A events. I'd expect no less from Francesca von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. Humph. It seems that we need a clearer testimony from the witness. Remove all supposition on your part and tell us only the facts, please. Witness, please. Remain standing on the crate. Don't go selling me short now. The weight of winter snow has bent me out of shape, especially my back and my mood. Sister, please give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here. Oh man, with the whip. Oh boy, all right, all right. It was me, massage please, for the details. When I looked across at the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab, Mr. Galise. Would it still stop the blood from coming out if it was like a full, like, like break through the other side? I guess, yeah, but I think it would, I think that would cause more bleeding than just one. No, actually, I don't know. I actually have no idea. I guess with, with gravity, like, like drawing it down, like if, if you could somehow stab someone and raise them up above your head, like, like you're holding them up like a flag, I think more blood would come out than just like a, a, a stab from downwards. So going straight through, yeah, I think there would be quite a lot of blood actually. I mean, I don't think it would bleed as much as if the as if the sword is removed, especially with like all of the fucking like like parts of it like that. That would be really hard. To, like, it would be like when the the blade went through Dante at the beginning of Devil May Cry One, like like all the branches on that sword and shit. Like that would be really hard to get th to get through a person. Like holy shit, man! I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I awoke, this that would that wouldn't go through cleanly. That would just like tear a body apart. Like holy shit! And when I awoke, Mystic Amy was stabbing Mystic Elise through the back. Dude, dude. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, this is all. This all confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Mouse Chadworth. Perfection. It's an impossibility, Francesca von Karma. I should know. I'm as close to it as possible. And and I'm here to teach you just that. <sighs> Further details... Okay, I, I lost what she said here. When I looked across to the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab Mystic Elise. I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? When I awoke, Mystic Amy was stabbing Mystic Elise through the back. Wait... Okay, so she she looked across the scene, the sword was already in in her back, right? And then she fainted because there was blood, but we already established there wouldn't be blood. 
and then she fainted, and then when she woke up, like, she was stabbing her again? Mystic Amy. Oh, Mystic Amy the statue was, okay, so when she awoke, the statue was holding the sword in, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right okay, I understand. Why was it necessary to use the sword from the enemy statue as a weapon? And why was the weapon ultimately placed back in the hand of the statue? How do you move the body? And then you put it put it over there. In fact, I suppose the flaws in testimony and the press to find the truth. Okay. At that time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course, so I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not, not, not then. I'm sure that, that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab, Mr. Police. Think carefully, this is very important. It's Iris we're talking about here, I'm thinking for all I'm worth. No, when I looked over, the sword was already in Mystic Elise's body. Hmm, it might not be conclusive, but this testimony supports your theory. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into the courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Chadworth. I've never seen so much blood before. So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? That's right, some of, it, some of it splattered onto Iris, too. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room, and her blood-flecked clothing was neatly folded in the corner. What? Her clothes were blood-flecked as well? Hmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further? Yeah, wait, what? Why aren't we finding this out now? Why are we finding this out now? Going back to your previous statement. You said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed, but now you say you saw the victim bleeding. Well, 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 I say that, I, I say that what I saw is what I saw. Oh, oh. What did you say, eh? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman getting stabbed, but I saw the girl pull the sword out of her, plain as day. Pulling the sword out. Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. Witness, you'll add this statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? Of course it More important than you can imagine. I saw the instant in which the blade plunged into the hilt was smoothly drawn out. Smoothly, you say? You're saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out? Yeah, and, and, and then Iris kind of like whipped it behind her and all the blood that it was on the sword just like splash onto the, to the snow and then she did like a flourish and put it in an invisible fucking sheet at her side and then she dragged and then I and then I fainted but then she probably dragged the corpse over to the statue and then put it back into the into the fucking into her body smoothly you say you're saying you, sh you saw the, s the sword smoothly slide out that's right the whole thing happened right next to the gold statue of Mystic Amy <laughs> Mystic Elise was on the ground and Iris was stooped over her the sword was buried up to the hill. When Iris stood up, the sword in her hand just slid out of Mystic Lisa's body. It slid out from that gaping wound. Ah. It wouldn't slide out that easily, would it? Is is this the old fucking, like, sword under the armpit trick? That old chestnut? Yeah, I'm stabbed, look! Ah. And then it smooths to the out and is like, Haha, we put an ep epic prank on B Bikini, there we go. Wait, why are you stabbing me for real now? It goes without saying that if the sword is removed, there would be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the, is that really the case? I can't help but feel that something out of this testimony is very out of place. That's something which couldn't possibly have happened, appears to have happened. I've never seen so much blood before. Was the bleeding caused by the killer removing the sword? No mistaking it, I remember it all clear as day. Oh, now you do. Don't you think that's a bit odd? What do you mean, Mouse Chadworth? Why would the killer pull out the sword? But If all she wanted to do was place the weapon in the hand of the gold statue, then there was no reason to remove it from the body. What do you mean? How are you dragging the sword and the body over there? All that would have accomplished is causing the victim to bleed unnecessarily. Your thoughts, Miss Onkarma. That's... Indeed, it is strange now that you mention it. I'm going to need to find an answer to this mystery, too. 
Anyway, the, wit the, the witness saw something terrible. So what did you do after that, witness? I fucking fainted. Oh, you fainted. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? I actually I can. You're weak. This is what this is how I talk to weak people who are on the stand. Now, onto what the killer did next. You saw none of it, correct? Well, I was unconscious. How long were you out for? I don't know. Ten, maybe twenty minutes? A young man with a very prickly looking head woke me up. By stepping on me, actually. Oh, I'm not sure I like that method of resuscitation! Well, I wasn't asking for mouth-to-mouth -mouth or anything of the sort, but I would have welcomed a more gentle awakening right about then, let me tell you. I shall have words with the offender personally. What did you see upon awakening? Right, you really must be more careful when you're going to crime scenes and responding to screams. You stepped on this poor woman. When I woke, Mystic Amy was stabbing Mystic Elise through the back. That's a weird way of saying that, isn't it? But Mystic Amy, you are referring to the golden statue, correct? Just stabbing someone with the sword, a sacred treasure, is terrible enough, but to then make Mystic Amy hold the blade. Truly, a heinous, despicable crime. Who the fuck is Mystic Amy? It is easy to despise something. Anyone can do it. However, there is something that cannot be done so easily. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's doubly hard for you. Anyway, what is the problem? Exactly why would the killer set up this gruesome scene? Can anyone explain the reasoning behind that? Hmm... Uh, no, I, I don't think I can, eh? Maybe it's some sort of ritual killing. Maybe this is the first one. Maybe this is the first time that the Mystic Amy statue killer has struck. And she'll strike again. There isn't always a logical reason behind why behind why someone acts. Aw oh, man, the Joe call out. Oh shit. That's true, so true. In early spring, for example, I have to find myself. There isn't always. That phrase might come in handy someday. There are too many unnatural elements in this case. Why was it necessary to use the sword from the Amy statue as a weapon? Why was the weapon ultimately placed back in the hand of the statue? If I can expose the flaws in this testimony, perhaps then I will begin to find the truth. Okay, so I'm thinking that it's impossible to smoothly pull that sword out. I think that's it. Let's save it. I'm pretty sure that like there's no way you could smoothly draw this sword with all its fucking branches on it out. Do, 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 do. Oh, also, there's no blood all the way to the hilt. Huh. Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. At least, I'd like to think so, but there are too many contradictions here. What do you mean? You make it sound as though I'm a liar. But you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. What contradictions are you talking about? In the scene that the witness claims to have seen, the weapon was thrust up to the, its hilt into the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. What do you mean, eh? Please explain your- Wah! Explain yourself! To start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Doesn't appear! What meaningless dribble! Remember that this is the person that was able to stab her big sister in the back and drag her over to a trunk of a car, get it open with a fucking crowbar or some shit, and then drag the body inside, carry it, and then close it. She's plenty strong. It wasn't a problem last time. It shouldn't be a problem this time. I, too, may appear to be weak and frail, but I can crush men under my heel and make them weep. So should I so choose? The objection stands. I wept a little back there, I must admit, eh? That isn't the only issue here. If this sword was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt, well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly wouldn't come out as smoothly. Are we going to bring up that there's no blood up to the hilt? Or... That's got to be brought up, right? The that's... We also have the problem of the amount of bleeding. It's true that when a blade is left in the body, it acts as a plug of sorts. However, when the weapon is shaped like this, it's an entirely different story. Yeah! Bringing it up! Yeah, I feel like that should have been brought up sooner, but okay. The wound would be too large for the blade to completely stop the bleeding. Man, it would hurt to get stabbed with that, huh? That's that's nothing more than conjecture. In reality, the victim was stabbed with the sword. Even a weapon of this nature may still sometimes slide out smoothly, and still it may still sometimes stop the blood loss. I think I think for it to be able to sm slide out smoothly, it wouldn't be able to stop the blood loss. It's either or here. I'm not finished. There is still one more, conclusive contradiction. 
You've still got more, eh? Holy shit. The fu talk about sudden death. This one is simple. If this sword really was thrust in all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? Ah! If this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! Order, order. Bravo, Miles Chadworth. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence. All the other attorneys I know can maybe manage one, if that, except for Wright. But what does all this mean? You have proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but having come this far, there can only be one answer. And that is, it was a decorative stabbing. The weapon used to kill the victim was not the sword. What? What, what? A foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhard... <laughs> foolish... <laughs> A smaller sword was initially used, and that one plugged up the wound, and then she was shoved out, and then that sword was removed, and then, then she was dragged over, and then the bigger sword was stabbed into the smaller sword hole to cover the smaller so sword hole up. That's, that's what happened. And you know what's the sad thing? That's not the first time that's happened in this series. Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think the sword was the murder weapon? Well, okay, so did you see a different sword and then you're just getting it mixed up with the Mystic Amy thing that you saw at the end? It's because Mystic Amy was holding it. Exactly. However, if you reflect on this, that is only that is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what inf it influenced us. It influenced us to believe that the sword was the murder weapon. In reality, it was this totally other sword. Order, order, eh? Wah. So maybe the Shiatsu was not the murder weapon. Even if that is the case, it changes nothing, Miles Shadworth. The sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, eh? Your response, Mr. Chadworth. So where is it, Von Karma? Prove it. You can't prove it without evidence. If that is so, I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear? Yeah! 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 We're, oh, man! Best trial! Everything's just fucking coming up like, here's the logical response to that, and then he says it! Chadworth is the fucking best, man. He's just the fucking best. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall and the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as if, us as if, as to if a sword-like object was found. That's answer the question, Miss On Karma. No evidence of that kind was found. Another mystery to throw onto the pile. Huh. Trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Like a like a moose on the loose. Excuse me, can I see some <laughs> You can lead a, a moose to Tim's, but you can't make it drink a double double. I just remembered something actually. What is it, sister? I was just thinking it's possible that just maybe what actually happened was. It was just over there. What exactly are you going on about here? The murder weapon, I mean. Maybe. I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what? Well then. I think we need to hear testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible. What else? What else could this old woman have seen? Location of the weapon. 
I saw the murder around 11 p.m. and after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. And there I saw tracks, tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. It takes 50 minutes to walk the dusky bridge, but less than five using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She could drive a snowmobile after all. May maybe she found a fucking big bird and fucking just tied it to its talons and said, shoe bird, fly away. Like, like it, this is just complete, just making bullshit up. Maybe, she, maybe the sword was made of chocolate and she ate it after she was done. What do you mean? Maybe she drew the fucking went to the fucking river and threw it in there. Maybe maybe it was made of wood and she fucking threw that in the river. Maybe it's a plank of wood on the bridge now. Maybe it's a part of the lightning. Maybe it's under the snow. Like who who fucking maybe it was an icicle sword. Like what do you mean, mate? Huh. Witness, please tell us everything you know right away next time. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. What with my back and my age, you know. Quite. There were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. A snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly is an interesting theory. But it's just a theory. Thrown out. Have some evidence, please. The tracks begin in front of Hazakura Temple. And run all the way to Dusky Bridge. Tracks photo added to the court record. That solves your pesky little problem, yes. The Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in winter, making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Now, nah, Wright would have found it. He went in the same river. That's how it works. That's how the Wright would have Wright would have found it. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Mr. Chadworth, your cross-examination, please. Please disprove this just wild fucking guess on the part of the witness. And then once you do, we'll just move on to the next fucking wild guess. We'll be here all night. We will. Gonna miss Wheel of Fortune. Lo local location of the weapon. I saw the murder around 11 p.m. You are sure about the time? Yes, I was worried about it. About it after all. Why was that? Because I have a strong sense of responsibility, especially at this time of year. The acolyte was being doused in freezing water at the time. I couldn't very well take it easy in the bath all night, could I? So at 11, I decided to leave Hazakura Temple. Her estimation of the time seems reliable, at least. Please continue, sister. And after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. You asked Phoenix Wright to report the crime, correct? Right, right. The one who trampled me. It seems she's the type to hold a grudge. There isn't a phone in the main hall, so I sent him to the bridge. Phoenix Wright! He didn't even have his cell phone on him. He had forgotten it at home, apparently. What a naive boy, as always. Typical fucking Phoenix. I know, right. Typical Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. Typical Phoenix. I don't know why I'm here, but, you know, I, I agree. Typical Phoenix. <laughs> judge, judge is in the background. <laughs> he lives here. <laughs> He's sitting there eating some popcorn. This is what he does in his friend. <laughs> he has a nest at the top of the courthouse. <laughs> No, so I always carry my phone, but I always have my whip in hand too. <laughs> and I was really scared and it was taking him a while to get back. So I thought I'd go out by the main gate for a spell. And there I saw tracks, tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. As I recall, there was a snowmobile outside the main gate when I visited. That's it, that's the only one we have. It'll run no matter how much snow falls. I mean, like it'll run, but it might not go anywhere. If, you know, now you're certain the snowmobile was. Now you're certain the snowmobile was there at the main gate when you arrived. Yes, of course. I w it was parked in front of the gate. So she had already gone, discarded the murder weapon, and returned by that time. I'm not sure if this is really relevant. What should I do? So, did she see Bikini come in and faint? Because then she has a witness to take care of. But she's like, no, it's fine. I'll get rid of the. I'll get rid of the murder weapon, but I won't get rid of the witness? Like, what? Like, press further. I mean, this, that's not very Joe Dark of her, is it? Like, if someone sees you kill someone, you have to kill them too. That's how it works. I need answers to every possible doubt. The snowmobile in question, was it still warm at that time? Huh, 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 huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, eh? Snowmobiles don't get warm, Chadworth. That they're they're made of snow. That's why they're called snowmobiles. What do you mean, Mouse Chadworth? I'm playing a slow, too slow crowd here. It goes without saying that using a snowmobile will heat its engine. If it was still warm, then it means it was recently used. Oh, I see. I never thought of that. 
Ah, oh, that's right. I overlooked that too. Of course you did. Of course you did. Then answer the question, please, witness. I don't often go around touching hot engines. Hmm. However, now that you mention it, there wasn't any snow on it. Snow! Yes, for some reason, only the snowmobile wasn't covered in snow. There wasn't any snow on it. Curses. And it was snowing on the night, right? It seems highly likely that the killer did use the snowmobile then, eh? I mean, like, someone did. How long does it take to get to Dusky Bridge by snowmobile? It takes 50 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but less than 5 using one of those. In that case, why didn't you use it yourself? You could have spared yourself some walking. Uh, there's a reason for that. Have we got a moment? Have we got a moment for me to explain? I think that's why the question was asked in the first place, eh? It was about a month ago. When my fear of snowmobiles was first kindled, I was driving my beloved little snowmobile, happy as can be. I fetched some water and was heading back when I went and crashed into a tree. The tree and my back both went crunch, just like that. Crunch. Uh, crunch. I haven't been able to find the courage to ride anything. <laughs> anyway, the killer must have used it. I made this. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back when I was knocked out. Do, do, do. Refresh our memory. How long were you knocked out for? Like I said, somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes. It's possible to get to the bridge and back in 10 minutes using the snowmobile. I have to concede that it is more than enough time. For this purely hypothetical answer, is that what you wish to con is that all you wish to concede, Miles Chadworth? Iris could have done that. She couldn't. She can drive a snowmobile after all. What if she's scared? Well, it would have been possible, time-wise. One element remains out of place here. Oh, and what would this mystery element be? The killer's reasoning, Your Honor. Why did the killer do all this? Why go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon when there are other methods? Hmm. Too many unanswered questions. Your response, Miss Wong Karma. Turning to me for help over the slightest thing. Why don't you think for yourself once in a while, Your Honor? What? She's as over the top as always. Anyway, whatever the reason, the fact remains that the defendant could have done this. Could have! The murder weapon was disposed of in the river. Another point to me, Miles Shadworth. Another mystery to feed the fire. Was there any reason to go and throw away the murder weapon? Luckily, there's surely a problem with his testimony. And all I have to do is start poking holes in this flawed account. Saw the murder around 11 p.m. Okay, I don't, I don't think we can, um, we can dispute that, right? That is, that is when it happened. Time 10 to p.m. Yep, that's that is. Okay. And after asking, after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. Okay, so that's when she, she said to Phoenix, I went out to the main gate. All right, and there I saw tracks. Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. Okay, well, wouldn't Phoenix have used the snowmobile if it had been out there? So like they were already gone. It takes 50 minutes to walk the Dusky Bridge, but less than five using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. Okay, so maybe that's it. Okay, do we have any evidence that, that says that at all? Okay, uh, okay. Um, they still have the suspect's fingerprints. They're still on the sword, though. Shows Mr. Master Shows how her temple is surrounding area. Okay. Prime. Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow. To Seven to approximately 10 50 p.m. Lightning. Uh, 10 to approximately. Okay, so there was no snow after after approximately 10 50. I, I don't think that that matters. Okay, I don't think that matters. Okay, taken by her own people in the lease. Rain, rain lights up about 10. There was uh, to the murder. After that, taken that night from the main gate to the ski bridge. This shows the tracks coming back, but not leaving, maybe? Right? Okay. It takes 15 minutes to walk to this bridge, but less than five using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She can drive snowboard after all. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River. 
She can drive it with a sword though. Maybe they threw up into E River and came back while I was knocked out. Okay. Well Why would they even have to go to to the bridge? Why can't they just Oh there there's no if you get to the river from here, you have to go to the bridge. Alright. Okay, so it's either something to do with the, there's only one set of tracks, or the snowfall would have covered the tracks. It, it wouldn't have covered it that quickly. Saw the murder around 1 p.m. After asking the reporter, I went to the main gate. All right, that's also fine. And there I saw tracks. Tracks indicate someone will be... Okay, so something there. It takes 15 minutes to walk to the ski bridge, but less than five using one of those. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. Maybe they threw the weapon to Igor and came back when I was knocked out. Well, that's just like maybe. Uh, Iris could have done that. She can drive the snowmobile after all. Okay, I think it's something to do with the tracks. So let, let's do the um, let's do the tracks. Uh, let's show the, the photo of the of the tracks, and if not, we'll show the weather report. Tracks photo. I don't think this is actually accurate, but let's just give it a try because sometimes the game surprises you. This evidence clearly okay. Yeah, that's not it. All right. Do 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 do. Okay, weather report. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Do 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 do. Two seniors wanted to see what you're missing. Maybe through the weapons you go around. Can't do something. I'm just gonna throw a stone after all. Can she? Is that is that the dispute? Can she? Doesn't even know she doesn't have any spiritual power. Okay, let's read it then. I mean, where is he? Oh, we haven't done that yet. I'm a lawyer. No. Oh, is it that Larry was there? It could be that Larry used it. Did Larry walk? What's the where's Larry's testimony? Regional weather crime report the crime. Well Larry was at the bridge, right? Larry's waiting there. Regional weather report for the night of the crime. Okay, let's read that again. Snow to proxy for the lightning to them. So the case lightning strikes, lightning struck us to bridge to the 40. Okay, I don't think that matters. The cult magazine featuring Hezuka Temple. I kind of feel like if it, if it was Larry, it would be like anyone. It, like, who, who else could have used it? And he'd be like, no, it could have been Larry. Do, do, do. I said, I don't know. Turn down the room until the murder was discovered. Uh, lots of blood. All right, court rumors. Courtyard where Billy Stuss was murdered. And take a night from the main gate to the second bridge. Tracks photo. Okay. Uh, there's footprints here. The, the snowmobile came back after the footprints, looks like. Right? How did Phoenix not. Wait, who took this photo? Was this in the morning? Okay, let's just try that. Well, wait, which one would it be? Try this. No. Fucking hell, man. I don't know what it wants from me, sorry.
Okay, let's just try and present the photo against every single one because maybe 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 that is the right answer But maybe it's just that I'm just presenting it at the wrong thing. All right, let's do just tracks on everything Tracks on tracks on tracks. Okay, it's that. I admit this photograph proves something. It proves that the snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable, it seems. Miles Chadworth. However, if what the witness says is true, then why is why is there only one set of tracks? Okay, so why wasn't it accepting that on anything else? Alright, so that was right, but... Alright. What do you mean? Iris left Hezakura Hez Temple, threw the weapon into the river, then then returned. If this was the case, naturally there should be two sets of tracks on the snow. Those from heading out to the bridge, and those from, from coming back. Ah, you're right. Well, she's a snowmobile expert, you see. She, she followed the same path back as she took there. Humph, you are forgetting one thing, Mel Shadworth. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by snow by the snowfall. This removes your precious contradiction, now doesn't it? I see, eh? While she was at the river, the snow stopped, leaving just the return tracks in the snow. What do you have to say now, Mouse Chaworth? Wasn't it a light amount of snow? Like, you'd be surprised how, how long some of those tracks can take to, to fill out. Where's the weather report? Oh no, just the snow with occasional lightning strikes. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there a, f is there a flaw in your theory? This idea that the snowfall covered one set of tracks, it's flawless. There is a contradiction. Um, I don't think there's a contradiction. That makes sense to me. I mean, depending on how specific they want this weather report to be, they said it snow it stopped snowing at approximately 10:50. So the murder, she like uh, Bikini said it was happening at around 11. So and the lightning strike was was after like 11 at the latest, and lightning strike happened after we left. So I mean, like it's possible. Let's try it. The tracks to the river were covered by snow. What a nice theory. However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. Would you care to explain why there is a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction? It's practically halfway across the courtroom. You, like, you're, you're an abomination, Chadworth. <laughs> no need. The evidence will do all the talking for me. On either the murder the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge, eh? In order to dispose of the murder weapon, the outgoing tracks were erased by snow. Or so claims Miss Wong Karma. Mr. Chadworth, present your evidence to the contrary, eh? Evidence of the outgoing tracks were not covered by snow. Okay, so it has to be that the snow stopped by then, right? Unless I'm, I'm forgetting something. I mean, like, the tracks are stopped, so, like, they're not there. I guess it's the argument that the snowmobile was taken out much sooner than that and then came back. Cart was, 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 was murdered. I mean, there's no snow on her, and she was out there at the time. Rang lights out of bell, bell at 10 p.m. All right, let's try the weather data. Witness, please tell us again what time it was when you witnessed the crime. Like I said, it was around 11. Of course, this means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? On that note, please take a look at this data. It is the weather report for the Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. The weather report! Snow started to fall at 7 p.m., but it stopped around 10.50. Therefore, when the sister witnessed the crime at 11 p.m., 
the snow had already st had already stopped falling. It is impossible for any tracks made after that time to have been covered up. Gah! Order, order. Very right, well then. It looks like Miss Von Karma's claim has been snowed in. <laughs> oh, that was very funny. It's me. It's me, uh, audience judge. Yes. <laughs> Good joke, Canadian judge. Oh, thank you, American judge. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, good. I'll see you upstairs in the nest. It's too soon to be closing this trial due to snow. Miles Chadworth, how pathetic of you to rely on the weather of all things. Answer me this then. When is a weather report ever correct? Ah, no, 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 you've got it all wrong. <laughs> got it all wrong. This isn't a forecast. This is actual data. Gah. Forecast, data, all weather reports have some inaccuracies. It may have still been snowing in the vicinity well past 11 p.m. Hmm, that, that is a good, that is a good point. Eh, it's true. We cannot be totally sure, eh? What? How did she pull that off? It had stopped snowing at Hezekura Temple when the murder took place. You need to provide conclusive evidence of this. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Very well. I, too, cannot allow any doubt to remain concerning this testimony. Ah, you cannot back down, can you? Such a perfectionist, Miles Chadworth. Very well, then. Mr. Chadworth. Where is your evidence that it already stopped snowing when the victim was killed? Well, I mean, like I just said, there's no body on... There's no snow on the body, right? So... Like, the snow on, on, on the statue, but there's no snow on the sword, and there's no sh snow on, on the body. It has to be that. Ultimately, it all comes down to one point. That being, whether or not it was snowing in that courtyard when the victim was stabbed. That's right, but proving that is... completely possible. Incredibly easy. If we want to know whether it was snowing or not, this photo will tell us everything. Of course, I am referring to the photo of the crime scene. As you can see, everything is covered with snow, with just one exception. And that is... the victim herself, Miss Elise Diaxnum. Okay, we're almost due for another break, I think five more minutes. And then we'll take another break and then we'll come back, uh, and then we will go for another hour and then we'll be done. Why is there no snow on top of her? The answer is simple. It had stopped snowing when she was killed, that's why. Eh, maybe it had stopped snowing because she was killed, eh? It's a sign. In other words, if the killer really did go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon, then in this photograph, there should be two sets of tracks. Whoa! Look at this photograph. Order, order, eh? Just what are you gra? Just what are you suggesting, Miles Shadworth? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself, but this is simply what all the facts point to. That night, someone used a snowmobile to leave Hasakura Temple. From the tracks left, it can be understood that they were heading for Dusky Bridge. At that time, it was still snowing. Of course it was, because those tracks were erased by the snow. Then, when this person returned to Hasakura Temple, the snow had stopped. Thus, the return tracks remained. Hmm. Huh. Can I say something? No. This all sounds a bit fishy to me. What does, sister? There is only one key for the snowmobile. Furthermore, on the night in question, we know that the defendant had it. The key was found in her room after the murder. Oh, thanks you just busting that out just now. Which could only mean that night, Iris used the snowmobile to get to the inner temple to go to the inner temple. But Iris said that she never went there. I should probably press on this point some more when I get the chance. Well, isn't that just the perfect alibi then? Like, if she's the only one with the key, slam dunk, we're done, right? If she's the only one with the key, and she and, and she was left with the snowmobile before the murder took place, and she came back after it was done, we're done. Yeah, let's go. O off to Tim's, let's go. Time to get some potato wedges, the only edible thing on their menu. The snowmobile can't cross the suspension bridge. So she must have left it on the Hezekura side of the bridge and crossed on foot. That sounds right. But what's odd is when I left Iris and returned to the Hezekura temple.
I didn't see anything near the near Dusky Bridge. You must have just failed to see it, sister. Maybe, but when I made it back to the Hezekur Temple, it was there by the main gate. The snowmobile, I mean. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow, too. But that isn't possible. Maybe there's two snowmobiles, eh? Order. Order in the court. What does this all mean? Ugh. This is a long trial without a recess. So then what was the snowmobile used for? It wasn't taken by the defendant when she went to the inner temple. If it had been, then the witness couldn't possibly have seen it by the gate. Furthermore, it wasn't used by the killer to dispose of the murder weapon. If that was the case, there should be two sets of tracks in this photo. All we know is this. After it stopped snowing, someone used the snowmobile to return to Hezekura Temple. Ah. I never thought, so, I thought a simple snowmobile could cause so much trouble. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, holy shit. I think we learned all we can from this witness. Yes, yes, I have nothing more to add. I told you everything, everything that I know. But then, that still leaves us with the same problem. Oh, wait, wait, objection. I just remembered one thing. One last thing. If only there was someone, a witness, who could testify to having seen the snowmobile. A witness, huh? Was there no one out walking, perhaps, near Dusky Bridge on that night? I don't think that's likely. It was cold enough to freeze your ears off. Only an idiot would go out wandering in that. Unless they had something really important to do. Larry. Larry. Ah. Uh, well, that's a shame. Hold on. Something is coming to me. I know an idiot. An idiot may well have gone wandering out on that subarctic night. Your Honor. Actually, there just might be one individual who may be of help to us. Really? You know of someone who might have seen the snowmobile on the night of the murder. I don't know for sure if he saw it or not, but there are two things about him that do come to mind. Which are, that he is an idiot and that he was out on that night. First, that he saw something incredible on the night of the murder. And the second being, this individual that I am thinking of went wandering outside on that cold night. In other words, he is our kind of idiot. <laughs> Mr. Chadworth, who is this idiot you're talking about? It's you, Your Honor. I don't remember being out there at all, but you were. Oh, I guess I have to take the stand then. Substitute judge, I'm tapping you in. Okay. I'm still in my pajamas, it's alright. Where is he? There he is. This guy must be a product of Jean-Luc de la Duc's Guide to Obnoxious French Pain. But a disciple of the victim, at least the accident. Her student, interesting. And why was he wandering about outside on the night of the murder? That's. I could tell them all about his designs for Iris, but it may cost us his credibility as a witness before I even call him. He is, after all, an artist. He was perhaps searching for something in the snowy scenery that would move him, although I cannot guarantee that this is the reason. And so, this unfortunate, unreliable-looking man, what exactly was it that he saw? I intend to extract that from him right here in this courtroom. Summon this youth as a witness immediately. Okay, if it takes a recess, we'll take a break, and if Larry comes to the stand, we will also take a break. So no matter what, we're going to take a break. I have no choice, do I? I believe he is in the gallery for this trial. It will not take him long to, it will not take long to summon him. Very well, Larry. You may have escaped me yesterday, but today I'm going to get everything out of you. The court will now adjourn for a 20 minute break. Miss Von Karma, please see to preparing the next witness. Understood, Your Honor. Good. Well then, court is now in recess. Time to go put some curds on some fries. To be continued. <laughs> Do 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 February 9, 11 15 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Excuse me, Mr. Shadworth. I'm not really sure what to say. Okay, well, enjoy this music. Break for five minutes.
Uh, thank you, Vanessa Alks or Vanessa LX for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adra, for the 413 sub or Idra. Thank you, Heda ST for the 213 sub and Wafflesman45 for the 313 sub. Thank you very much. Please enjoy my chair squeaks. <sighs> How many of you are uh, staying up until tomorrow at midnight to play Cyberpunk right away? Thank you for the bit, Spencer Bob. No? Way too expensive. I kind of feel like, despite the tweet I did yesterday um, about, you know, trying to control hype, you know, and expectations, um, like, I'm sure there's still, like, an absolute, like, metric shit ton of hype ar around it for, for a lot of people, but I kind of feel like from the people that, you know, in our community, that the hype has kind of diminished a bit. Like, I feel like it's like, eh, I don't know if it's all the delays or some of the controversies or just just how long it took or something or i don't know like i just i just kind of feel like the fire has gone out a little bit um in, in people in my circle anyway Anyway, let's continue. Uh, I'm starting to get worried that we're not going to be able to finish this tomorrow, but uh, if we have to go six hours tomorrow, I'm willing to go six hours. I'm probably willing to go seven hours. I don't think I'm willing to go eight. I don't want to do an eight hour stream. So hopefully we can uh, we can get this done with enough time. We'll see. Excuse me, Mr. Chadwor Chadworth. I'm not really sure what to say. Iris, we only have 20 minutes. That's enough time to drive with a snowmobile to the bridge and back. There are two things which I need to ask you before we reconvene. All right, I'll help you any way I can. First, about that night, you really didn't go to the inner temple, correct? The last witness claims to have met and talked with you in the training hall. Either you or Sister Bikini is lying. Mr. Chadworth, it is just as I said yesterday. Until the incident occurred, I was in my own room in Hezekura Temple. Very well. The second thing, then. That night, the temple snow... The temple snowmobile was used in between the time Sister Bikini returned to the main hall and when she bore witness to the murder. Sometime between 10.30 and 11 p.m. that night, were you the one who used the snowmobile? There's only one key for the snowmobile. The only person who could have used it was me. So it was you. But why? What made you go out to Dusky Bridge? I'm sorry, Mr. Chadworth. Ooh. Okay, so she said she was in her room until the incident occurred, so she used the snowmobile after the incident occurred, so she left her room, right? I think that's it. Iris, I can't tell you about that yet. Yet. Not until her safety is confirmed. Her. The safety of the Acolyte. The Acolyte, huh? She must be talking about Maya. Oh, she does have the pearls on her, on her, uh... On her neck. Iris, look me in the eye and tell me the truth. Wait, what? For a second there, I was like, is, is, is this even, um, is this even Iris? Maybe this is Pearl, but it's not, because the hair is, is, uh, is the same. Um, Iris, look me in the eye and tell me the truth. Did you kill Elise Diaxnim? No matter who or what may come, I could never take a life. As I thought, no psycho locks. Very well, I will go along with this. It is my job to get to the truth. You'll discover this for yourself soon enough. 
February 9, 11.36 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 7. Court will now reconvene. Miss Von Karma, where is the witness? During the break, a man was detained for suspicious behavior in the gallery. Suspicious behavior. He was sketching something very intensely. Dari asked what the witness was sketching when he was detained. He drew a terrifying woman armed with a demonic face and a vicious whip. I can only presume that his intention was to capture- Ah! Anyway, it's time to drag this pathetic excuse for an artist before the court. Whoa! Loris the Naxnim, I hope you're ready. Get in here. It would seem that Whip is going to see plenty more use today. Ouch. Your sketch is in contempt of this court. Hey, it was just I was just artistically something. Ouch. You tried to run away from the bailiff who was trying to hand you your su subpoena, correct? Look, I'm nothing but a fledgling artist training out in the mountains. I'm only down here in the city because I ran out of green paint. Well, to use the technical term for the color, Viridian. Larry, this isn't an art store, now is it? I know, I graduated junior high, okay? Look, art is all about working in the fields, isn't it? Why are you trying to buy paint at the courthouse? Why are you at suit work, working in the fields? I presume you want to say field work, I hope. That's it, thanks buddy. It's kind of sad that I was able to understand his mangled train wreck of a sentence. I <laughs> just happened to stop in here and found a wonderful new model. <laughs> so see, I've got nothing to do with this trial at all. I expect all of your faces to be red when you realize this mistake, bright red. Or to use the technical term, crimson lake. Ouch. Ouch, 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 yeah, 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 ouch, ouch, yeah, just whip everyone but Chatterworth. Stop your pathetic blab blabbing and testify like a man. Refrain from whipping me, Miss Von Karma. Cross whipping is as bad as cross checking. <laughs> cross checking, eh? With <laughs> high sticking. Witness, that was a all your all your fault. Testify now. Wow, this is too much for me. What I saw. I was at that lodge out in the mountains, looking up at the stars that night. I walked to the bridge a number of times, but I didn't see a s snowmobile. I didn't see anyone at the bridge that night either. The girl I was waiting for didn't show up. My teacher died on me. I'm all alone now, aren't I, Edgy? Witness, please refrain from talking directly to the lawyers during your testimony. I'm just a nobody, nothing but a small, worthless man, aren't I? And why wasn't I asked for my name and occupation or anything else? Mr. Chadworth, this man seems to have quite a severe inferiority complex. He's recently been the cause of numerous incidents. I think he's finally realized for himself just how much of a nuisance he has been to other people. Whoa, yeah, that's right. I'm behind everything, every case. Watch out, okay? Just touching me will make you eternally unhappy. Well then, let us proceed with the cross-examination with no touching, thank you. We can delve into other details at a later time. What I saw is 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 the fucking like no one's gonna love me part part of the testimony to you. Okay, it's not. Susie's gonna come in. I think I do this. In the end, I want to do this. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Whatever is the matter, Mr. Shadworth? This one single statement is so full of contradictions. For a moment there, I thought I was going to collapse. Hmm. So, fitness, any idea as to where these contradictions in your testimony lie? Depending on your answer, I may stay my whip. Okay, give me a minute. Well, it was snowing that night, so I couldn't possibly have seen the stars. That rundown shack is hardly a lodge, is it? And even if the stars could be seen, it isn't like I was there to look at them, right? <laughs> See, you can do it if you try. <laughs> Ouch. There is only one issue here. What you saw at Dusky, Dusky Bridge? I walked to the bridge a number of times, but... A number, a number of times? How many? Maybe five times? I went once every 20 minutes. Which means you spent almost two hours at Heavenly Hall that night. You bet. Real love is about waiting with your heart in your hands. Do you have all your toes still? Love, you say. It was this man's intention to summon the defendant to the, to, to the small shack using this blackmail letter. The blackmail? No, no. That was simply a product of overflowing love. Ah! You huffy puffy loosey goosey excuse for a whimpering whining wuss of a witness. Damn, good line. So what, so what did so what did you see? I hope for your sake you saw a snowmobile. I, I'm the old judge now. 
You huffy puffy Lucy good shit. Excuse <laughs> everyone. He wants to witness, eh? Whoa, well, uh, well, you see. Being called those names doesn't seem to bother him at all. I didn't see a snowmobile. Larry, you really didn't see it. Hey, no need to hit your desk. I can hear you. I didn't see it. I didn't see a snowmobile. Larry, say snowmobile for me, please. S -s -s snowmobile. If you truly have nothing to hide, then why are you stammering like you just flew over a cuckoo's nest? Shut up. What is this? I don't know. Don't ask me. It seems that I'll need to start from a more obvious contradiction. I'm going to strike the blow that will finally get him to spill the beans. I didn't see anyone at the bridge that night either. You didn't meet anyone. That's right, because I've got nothing to do with this. I'm just here to buy some Viridian paint, okay? Come on, I expect to see those crimson, crimson-like faces now. It would appear that simply pressing him isn't going to be enough, Mr. Chadworth. Indeed. It seems that he's going to claim to have nothing to do with this in the end. I don't want to do this most of your time. I need to slice these hobbies countries and keep these in hold on. Okay, well... Wait, well, we, we already did that contradiction that one, so I doubt it's that one. I walked to the bridge a number of times, but I didn't see a snowmobile. I didn't see anyone that bridge that night either. Okay, so I didn't see a snowmobile. You had to have. It was there. Where else could it have been? I thought we were going to have to use this. Let's try it. No, it's not. Oh shit. Oh no. We try testing this penalty too. What's the bridge number times? But I didn't see a snowmobile. I didn't see anyone at the bridge that night either. I mean, well, you saw Phoenix, right? Is that it? You saw Phoenix? Objection! Oh, that is oh that is it. Oh okay. Hey butts. I can understand why you might want to throw out your old life away. You're pretty pathetic and you cause all sorts of trouble. I'm sorry. But having realized just how much of a nuisance you have been, that could have been considered a step in the right direction. Edgy, are you trying to console me? It certainly doesn't sound that way to me. However, I cannot forgive you for simply turning away from the incidents you create. Well, you're totally pinning this on me. Now then, let us talk about the night of the murder. Sister Bikini, after seeing the murder take place, asked Phoenix Wright to report it. Thus, he headed for the public phone by the bridge. There, he happened to happen across a certain nefarious individual. You, Larry Butts. That's right, me in the flesh. Mm, listen carefully, witness. It doesn't matter if you change your name. So long as you remain pretty pathetic, you will continue to cause these incidents. That reality will will not change. But what do you want me to do then? Go home and listen to some fucking Brian a Brian Adams and pull your fucking socks up. Larry, what do you what you need to change is your inner self. But for now, what you saw that night, testifying truthfully about this one issue, is all I need from you. Edgy, I I think I finally woken up. Well, I guess I could still be sleeping. But anyway, I'll do it. I'll testify. Well, I'm not sure this will go especially well. Let's well, again then, witness. What did you see on the night of the murder? What I saw, part two, electric boogaloo. I went to the shack at around nine, so it, so it would have been about 10.30 p.m. I was lying under my bedding when a white flash almost blinded me. The fuck? I looked out the window and Dusky Bridge was on fire. There was still some thunder, but but I went right away to check it out. That's when I ran to Nick. Hmm, you certainly saw quite a lot, didn't you? So, what happened to the bridge after it caught on fire? It was like me after a three-day stint chasing a girl. It totally burnt out, like almost totally gone. I mean, trying to cross the burning remains was what caused Nick to fall. V what did you say? Oh, don't worry. It's nothing life-threatening. He just he just caught a cold. I never knew. No, that man 
I never know with that man if he should be called lucky or unlucky. Aw, oh, man, Von Karma cares for Nick? I didn't know that. Now, Mr. Chadworth, please commence with your cross-examination. Damn. I went to the shack and I What did you do out there in the cold for an hour and a half? Well, if you really must know, I was busy being excited, I guess. Oh, excited, dare I even ask? I set the meeting time at, as 10 p.m., right? But I couldn't wait, and I thought she might come early too. Well, it appears she didn't come at all in the end. Because they never arranged to meet in the first place, did they? Shut up, don't go picking my fond memories apart. Anyway, I was getting a little worried. I thought maybe Iris had lost her way, so every 20 minutes or so I went out to the bridge, but I didn't see anything particularly suspicious. I didn't have anything else to do, so I went back to the shack to wait for her. I was lying under my bedding when a white flash almost blinded me. This light was, of course, lightning. Like, kerpow! Like a slap from Naomi, honestly. A big bada boom. Yeah! Or a little like that. Wah! That's more like a punch from Miranda. <laughs> Witness, did you actually see the lightning hit the bridge? Well, I was a bit startled by the flash of light, so. No, I looked out the window, and Dusky Bridge was on fire. Seeing that, what did you do? What do you think? I was burning up as well from the fire in my heart. And that's why you went to take a look at the bridge. Well, to be honest, it was freezing cold, so at first I thought, forget it, I'm not leaving my covers. But it had pretty much stopped snowing, so I don't know, I changed my mind. Hmm. I'm not sure I care for the forget it attitude you had at first witness. There was still some thunder, but I went right away to check it out. You said right away, but exactly how long after the strike was that? Hmm. Lightning fell, and then the bridge caught on fire, maybe around five minutes. I mean, I suddenly thought, gotta go check this out. How far is this small shack you were in from the from the bridge? Hold on. Well, it had pretty much stopped snowing. I guess about five minute walk? And how did Dusky Bridge look when you got there? Like I had recovered a piece of my childhood. I mean, not even the bonfires kids make during school camping trips can compare. Damn. Well, should I press him for a little more info? Yeah, always. Why didn't you call anyone? Why did you go to the bridge? So you suddenly thought, Ch to check out the bridge. Does this mean that you initially had no intention of doing so? Tell my gigantic hand. Well, yeah, I guess it does. It was really cold. I didn't really want to go out there. If that's the case, why did you change your mind? I would like to hear your reasoning. In which case, please give testimony to that effect witness. My reasoning. Okay, reasoning it is. I is it? I thought I'd never get another chance to see something so big burning. That's actually a pretty good reason, actually. I think I would go for that, too. So you decided to go and see what was happening. That's right. We're talking about a massive suspension bridge burning into high heaven. That's not something you see every day. A real spec... spec you... Like, really special. Can we really trust a witness who is unable to pronounce spectacle? Life seems to love hitting this poor witness below the belt. Well, my motto is, hit life back as hard as I can. Ah. I'll give you a few hits too, if you'd like. With my whip. Which I'm holding. Remember, I have a whip. When I when I drew my fucking trait out of a hat, I Godot got coffee. I got whip. He, he told me about the burning bridge yesterday, but there's still something that doesn't quite fit. It looks like, despite his change of heart, Larry still isn't telling us the whole truth. I went to the shop. Okay, so left the description on fire. Then check it out. I thought I'd never get a chance. Okay, so can I add the other testimony here too to it as well? He said it right away. Has it in the room? Why didn't you call anyone? Larry, let me ask you one thing. What is it, Edgy? What's with the serious face? Why didn't you call anyone? Huh? What do you mean? Normally, when faced with a towering inferno, one would try and tell someone. There's a public phone right by Dusky Bridge, correct? Well, of course I thought of doing that. So then, let's hear why you didn't. Huh? Yeah, okay, my a reason, my reason. It isn't that I didn't try to tell anyone, I just didn't have time to, okay? I arrived at the bridge, and Nick showed up less than a minute later. Oh, so that that replaced the other testimony. Okay, fuck.
You claim to have arrived at the bridge at the same time as right. Yeah. I thought I'd better tell someone about this, but then Nick came up yelling about murder. It totally made me forget about the bridge. The fire was pretty much out by then, anyway. What's this feeling? I suddenly have a terrible sense of unease. Case of an sense of unease? Case of unease? It was after contacting the police that Phoenix Wright fell from the bridge, correct? Yeah, that's pretty much it, more or less. He told me about the burning bridge yesterday, but there's still something that doesn't quite fit. Looks like... This way changed. Okay, I don't know what to press here. Alright, I went to the shack around 9, so it would have been 10.30pm. I was lying under my bedding when the white flashlight was blinding me. Oh, when this bridge was on fire, there was still something under when I checked it out. I read the bridge and Nick showed up less than a minute later. Okay, so what... what are we doing? Alright, so here's my issue, is that it could be this one, but it could also be the other one that we got rid of. Lightning 10 to approximately 11 p.m. So, like, it the lightning, lightning struck the Dusty Bridge at 10:45, around 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. Like that, that's not right, is it? I think it's this one, with the weather report. Objection! Your very existence being a contradiction, I'm not sure if you can grasp this or not. What the hey, Edgy? You make me sound like some sort of alien, but your testimony is conclusively contradictory. The problem here is time. I've never been the best timekeeper, you know? Three minutes after Billy leaves on foot, you follow him on your bicycle. How long does it take for you to catch up with him? Terrible at those. This is much more simple. You saw the lightning strike dus Dusky Bridge. Wait, wasn't he the witness that gave this testimony? Or was it someone else? Oh gosh, it was me that gave that testimony. I was around taking some photos. Lot of heart here, been called in in the, in the, in the fifth inning. And here we go. Yeah, it was me. You saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. And immediately went to see what had happened. Is this correct? Yeah, well, I wasted about five minutes first, but more or less. I have the weather data from the night of the murder here. According to this, the lightning fell at 10.45 p.m. You say it takes less than five minutes from the shack to Dusky Bridge, meaning you probably got there around 11 p.m. That all sounds about right, I guess. And then Nick showed up and did his falling act. <laughs> Pathetic, Larisse. That is impossible. What do you mean? 11 p.m. is when the murder occurred in Hezekura Temple. Thus, Wright was still there, in the courtyard. There is no way that Larry could have encountered him at, at Dus Dusky Bridge at that time. Ugh. Ah, uh, excuse me. I have an objection. You do? Chatty, how many times do I have to say this? I'm not Larry. I'm Larissa Tudga! It has not been proven that the murder occurred at 11 p.m. The sister only said, around 11. In which case, it could have been earlier than that. Around 11 isn't 11! What's your footing there, Miss Fa Francesca Von Karma? The slope ahead is slippery, for there is still no way that Wright could have been at Dusky Bridge at 11 p.m. And why not? It is clearly written here in the weather data report. It took around 30 minutes for the bridge to burn out. Therefore, the bridge must have been burning until at least 11.15 p.m. Which means, what exactly? Wright did not see the bridge while it was being consumed by the flames that night. In fact, he did not arrive on the scene until... The flames had died down. I mean, that still looks pretty fucking on fire to me, but okay. Larry, you arrived at the bridge at 11pm, but Wright did not make it there until at least 11.15. I suggest you stop hiding things and just tell us the whole truth, now, then, what happened during these missing 15 minutes. I feel like I just got brutally woken up by a toilet splashback. <laughs> order, order, order. Ah. So there was a missing 15 minutes prior to meeting Phoenix Wright. So fucking what? That doesn't matter. These timelines, they don't matter at all. Uh, thank you, Harry Ravioli Toad, for a thousand bits. Holy shit. Thank you so much. That's a lot of bits. A thousand of them. And thank you, Brosif Manderson, as well, for the 213 sub. Thank you so much. I hardly see 
that as much of a problem. Yeah, not much of a problem at all. Really? The bridge is burning before your eyes, and there is a phone right next to it. Why then, did you not report the accident? Uh, yes, witness, why didn't you? Were you there simply to watch the bridge burn? Do you have any marshmallows? If you did, please share with the court. Literally, pass them out. And therein lies the problem, for even after the bridge had burnt out, he was still there. Staring into space, this witness didn't even attempt to fulfill his civic duty. That's what it sounds like. Ah, but this, Larry, this is Larry we were talking about, and even he is incapable of being so stupid. Which means there has to be a reason for his inaction. Chatty, I think it's about time I got serious with you, dude. Just as I thought, you've been playing with us all this time. Listen, I'm the Amy Statue Killer, and this was my first performance, and there's going to be more, and you have to let me out of here, or else Maya will die. I'm the new serial killer in town. I'm going to tell you everything. Are you sure you want to hear it all? Yes. I may really say it this time. Everything. Then say it. Very well, I have a terribly bad feeling about this. However, let's have the witness finally give us the whole truth and nothing but. Now, for the 15 minute gap, what were you doing, witness? And for the sake of curds and gravy, please tell us the truth this time. The missing 15 minutes. I'm the Denaxim. I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? You were painting? Sketching in front of the bridge. I was whipped up into a frenzy of art. The shock and awe that I was feeling, I transferred it all directly onto the page. Before I realized it, the flames had gone out, and then he came running up. Oh. I suppose artists can be strange folk. That's right. I'm willing to sacrifice everything in order to draw the perfect sketch. Including the truth from the sound of it. Mr. Shadworth, has this removed the last of your doubts? Not at all, Your Honor. One very large doubt still remains. And what would that be? This is a surprisingly believable story, especially considering the source. So why did he think he needed to hide it from us until now? I intend to drag the reason out of him. Uh, show us the painting. Isn't, isn't that easy? You'll regret this, Edgy. The missing 15 minutes. Do 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 do. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? Tell us, Larry. My name is Larice, get it right. Mistakes like that are what keep you from being popular with ladies like I am. Just who exactly are you? I'm Larice Diaxnim, apprentice extraordinaire. That's what he calls himself in any case. Then you are an artist. Of course, I'm an artist, the real thing. Yet again, that's what he calls himself. Names mean nothing. There is only one issue I care to discuss. What were you doing? That is a very big issue indeed. <laughs> Sketching the burning bridge. The burning bridge and everything that came with it. What? Came with it? You want to hear this from my lips, do you, Edgy? You'll regret this. That sketch of mine is. Gah! Enough! Just take that ridiculous sketch of yours out already, witness. <laughs> nice. She's just like, yeah. She saw where this was going about, where this is going. Here we go. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. That does indeed appear to be the fastest solution. I'll leave it to you, Mr. Chadworth. What should I do? I've got a terrible feeling that the instant the sketch is revealed, the entire world may be changed by what is depicted there. Yep, look at the sketch. Yep, let's go. Larry, I wonder if you could please show us your sketch, please. Well, well. Even I couldn't have imagined a turn out like this. Imagined what? That Larice the Axnim's debut would take place here today, like this. Show it now! Okay, but steal yourselves. This. Why is there s someone on fire? Or, like, what? This is the world of Luis the Axnem. <laughs> Um, well, so this this is Dusky Bridge, correct? Quite a large bridge, isn't it? Your response, Miss Von Karma? Yes, well, it's a better drawing than I expected. Isn't it? Isn't it? I struggled to reproduce those flames, I really did. 
Yes, I'm sure you did. Oh, oh, this is going to get ugly. No one has the courage to bring it up, it seems. This mysterious flying object. <laughs> What? The burning bridge is fine, but what the fuck is that unfortunate looking figure? Ah, you spotted that. I thought you might. However much I might want to ignore it, I can't. It's Iris, of course. Iris. I wish she'd take better care of herself. We have to plan for her future, you know. What would have happened to her if she had injured herself flying like that? Please, answer this next question honestly. Are you on drugs, okay? Are you really claiming to have seen this? Are you claiming to have seen the silhouette of the defendant? This is- she's fucking on fire, bro! Flying over a bridge that was engulfed in flames. Yep, that's what I saw. That's why I drew it. I'm an artist, a real artist. Uh, are you- Hi! <laughs> the girl, she's really- <laughs> The girl, she's really hot for this picture. <laughs> wow, what was what was that for, eh? This is all a bad dream. I was hitting you on the ch on the cheek to test the theory. Please whip your own cheek from now on if you wish to test your wild theories. But anyway, no court of law will ever acknowledge that a that people can fly. People can try. Birds can fly. That's about it. Actually, there is some precedent for this. She was... Excuse me? She was flying pretty high, my sweet Iris. She was about 20... She was about 30 feet above the bridge, at least. It was really something to see. This has to be some kind of... M mustake? Mr. Ch Mr. Showers, please bring the witness back down to Earth. What? Me? This witness is your friend, is he not? Accessory to foolishness, Miles Chadworth. Let's get back to the cross-examination, by force if necessary. How- how the fuck are you fucking- like, what? Where is it? It's not here? How- we have to explain how there's a flying silhouette of Iris above the fucking- like, that looks like it's on fire- Wait, woo, woo, woo. This, this is a shower, I expect you was supposed to be a contradiction here. Yeah, what do you mean? Here's the contradiction, your honor. People can't fly! Slam fucking dunk! There you go! Yes, your honor. Looks like I've got another reason to remember this moron. Well, what do you think of my debut piece? Get that thing away from me. Larry's sketch added to the court record. Horrible sketch of what he saw in that other crime. It's not horrible. Like, this is like fucked up, but it's not horrible. Now hurry up and cross-examine him. I'm in an accident. I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? Sketching in front of with a friend's yard. Who's I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. Sketching in front of the bridge of a friend's yard. Just where did you see this sight from? Hey, no need to shout. When I was lying in bed in that rundown shack, the crack of the lightning bolt made me realize that bridge was burning. I just watched it for a while from there, thinking how nicely it was burning. Then after about five minutes, I saw it. The defendant flying. That's right. That's when I decided to go to the bridge. All right, defendant, fly for us right now. I see that, that all makes sense. Aside from the sketch itself. Yeah, this sketch doesn't make any sense. I just need to convince the artist that his work is ludicrous. Larry, people can't fly. The socket on is feeling the transfer directly onto the page. You transferred everything directly onto the page, and that is the sketch here. Yep, sensational, isn't it? Or should that be scandalous? It put my mind at ease anyway. It did, that's right. The reason she didn't come to me, even though I waited for her, was because she was trapped on the other side of the bridge. But she could fly! Why didn't she just fly over? Could it be that Iris undertook that dangerous, desperate flight in order to reach me? That's gotta be it. Alright, go me. Okay, where did she go? Okay, continue, please. Before I realized that the flames had gone out, and then I came right- Ooh, where- 
You forgot the passage of time to that extent, did you? Well, once I get caught up in something, I tend to forget everything else. That's true, he's always been that way. I guess he's not lying about that, at least. Phoenix Wright appeared on the scene after 11.15. If he was drawing until then, that dispels all doubts. Aside from doubts of his humanity, eh? There is a big clue waiting for me in this cross-examination. This testimony does nothing less than mock the court. But I am sure that there is a vital kernel of truth hidden in its- <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, hold on! I actually have to- Pe People can't fly- Well, I'm, I'm a Danux and I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? Sketching in front of the bridge. I was whipped up into a frenzy of art. I saw- Okay. Alright, she didn't have her hood. That that's that's the slam dunk. Larry, what did you really see that night? You wait, are you saying that you saw someone in so, someone flying with their white hood fluttering the defendant? That's impossible, Larry. Impossible. She gave her white hood to Phoenix earlier that night. It couldn't have been her flying. It's it must have been someone else flying. That's the fucking contradiction here. Larry, what did you really see that night? Not that I particularly care. In your position, that's just being irresponsible. I drew exactly what I saw. I'll give you a whole dollar. That's the truth. That's the truth. If that is truly the case, then there's one thing that we can say for certain. Uh, what might that be? That the person who flew over the bridge could not have been the defendant. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I don't understand. A foolhardy folly of a foolish statement by an equally foolish, foolhardy fool. It could not have been the defendant flying. She did not have the white hood. How exactly can you make this claim? Tell us, Larry. According to this picture, the individual whom you say you saw was wearing a hood. Yeah, I can see it. Correct? Of course she was. That rundown shack is quite away from the bridge. The hood is what told me that this holy angel is my iris. The hood is my darling iris, and my iris is my darling hood. Wow. It seems there are bigger fools in this world than the one at the def on the defense's bench. Larry, there's something you need to be made aware of. People can't fly. On the night of the murder, Iris wasn't wearing her hood. Oh yeah, that too, yeah. She had given it to Wright as a gift. Are you going to change your story now? Perhaps suggest it was Wright who took flight. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think you understand what I mean just fine. Why? Why did Nick have Iris's hood? What? Edgy, what's going on with Iris and Nick? Why you Nick, you dog? What happens to the witness? I do believe, eh? That this is unbelievably mysterious sketch is destined to disappear, discredited and discarded, straight into the garbage. Ha! Ha 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 what is it now, Witness? It feels like I've been waiting 25 years for this very day to come. Chatty, today's the day I get to completely stupefy you. What? What is the meaning of your outburst, Witness? I hate to have to do this, but I have some definitive evidence. Look, I can fly too. People can fly. Look, I'm gonna levitate. Definitive? Evidence? Iris did indeed come flying over the burning bridge, and I, Loris Denaxnim, Shall prove it. I didn't expect to ask this again, but shall we be needing your testimony? Well, we shall be needing your testimony once again. Tell us anything you know concerning the defendant as depicted in this sketch, and show us your evidence that this nightmare was actually reality. Okay, so here, here's my problem. Here's why I'm getting so irate. At some point, this is going to turn out to be yes, there was someone flying over the bridge, and we're going to have to prove how they were flying over the bridge, and. And, and last time someone flied, they were dangling from a fucking fishing pole with, with, with a fucking hat and a coat on. And like, but this time, there's there's no one, there's, there's nothing above this. So, like, what the fuck? Like, like the only thing I can think of is that they were catapulted around or like something like, like swung around really, really fast and then just like flung over, but then they would fucking die when they landed. Like, what the what the fuck is this shit? And show us your evidence that this night was actually reality. Okay, I hope you're ready, Edgy. Because I'm going to feed you a whopping server serving of pain. You 
you've been serving us a whopping serving of pain this whole time, trust me. Proof that Iris flew! When I reached Dusky Bridge, she was already gone. I was so worried, so I frantically searched all over for her. That led to me finding a beautiful crystal sphere half buried in the snow. Why did you give this over? I'm sure that Iris was simply wearing a spare hood. After all, no one else could have lost the crystal sphere that night. A crystal sphere? This one, pretty, isn't it? But finders keepers. There's blood on it, Larry. That sphere, where did you find it? Let me see. Around here somewhere it looks about right. And it was half buried in the snow. It had pretty much stopped snowing by then, but there was still some falling as I walked to the bridge. Huh, the court accepts this crystal sphere. That's mine, okay? I want it back afterward. Huh. There's something on it. Oh my, it's ketchup blood. What? Blood. Crystal sphere added to the court record. Found half covered in snow near Dusky Bridge the night of the crime has blood on it. You ready, Edgy? But tomorrow morning you'll be calling me Master Larry. Yeah, I like the sound of that. No one's gonna push me around anymore. Didn't you want to be called Larice Danaxtim only a few minutes ago? Proof that Iris flew. When I reached Dusky Bridge, I was already gone. Alright, well, I know that that, that was part of th this, but... Um, like, how do I use that to refute this here? Or maybe I don't. When I reached Dusky Bridge, she was already gone. So you went to the burning bridge. That's right, to meet Iris. She actually flew to get to me. The least I could do is meet her halfway. But the defendant was not on the bridge when you got there, you say? I guess she went back to Haz Hazakakura Temple. She's a girl, after all. She must have wanted to look her best. Great. It must have been lovely to live in the fantasy. It must be lovely to live in the fantasy land of Larry's mind. Actually, it's so depressing that I can't even work up the energy to point. <laughs> so what did you do next? I was so worried, so I frantically searched all over for her. So you searched all over for her. She was flying pretty high, you know. I thought maybe she slipped on her land on her landing and got hurt. Hey, it was more than possible. Also, when I headed out to the shack the first time, I was snacking on a banana. I was pretty sure I threw the peel away somewhere around there, so you know. Can one guy really be this stupid? So, did- Ah, energy to point! Did you find any signs of her so-called landing? Hmm, I don't really remember. I kept on falling over myself and kind of lost it for a while there. You fell over yourself? Yeah, the snow was deep and there was even a banana peel out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're stupid, and then there's Larry Butts. The short of it is that you didn't find any signs of her landing, correct? Then what happened next? Alright, so... So, was this like... Was this like... On the bridge, it caught on fire, and she jumped off? And he's just an idiot? Landed in the water? Someone else landed in the water? Oh god. Well, if it's who I think it is, then holy shit. That led to me finding a beautiful crystal sphere half buried in the snow. Half buried. It was sitting in the snow with a little gathered on with a little gathered on top of it. It was very hard to spot, actually. I mean, it was dark out, too. I'm impressed you did well to find it. No matter what you may think, when you look at me, I'm a pro, a genius security guard. I used I used a pen light I borrowed from my company to help in my search, and it sparkled really brightly as if it was if it was saying, "Here I am" to me. This indeed looked very much like the crystal sphere on Iris's hood. But oh, it's not. Oh, is it? Is it not this one? I mean, surely that one's a lot bigger. They should know just from the size of it, isn't it? But I need to remind you that she was not wearing her hood that night. I'm sure that I saw Iris was simply wearing her spare hood. Each nun is assigned their own hood, and they are assigned only one. I don't know anything about that, okay? And Iris is special, alright, dude? Even if she did steal a spare hood, I'll forgive her. This is getting us nowhere. Our destination for the day is... It's here. <laughs> However, this crystal sierra is found near the bridge. That is a fact. If it didn't come from a hood, where could it have come from? That is the question I aim to answer. 
After all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. Let me confirm this one last time, Larry. The reason you thought that this was Iris are the hood and this crystal sphere, correct? That's right, my gut is never wrong. I met that old bikini uh, the next morning, and her crystal sphere was still there, safe and sound. Indeed. She was- Ah, oh, it's much bigger there. Hmm, okay. She was wearing it in this very room earlier today. This case isn't going to end without a fight. Exposing the obvious contradictions in this testimony will be easy, but I fear that all that awaits us are further mysteries. Okay, so... Uh, the staff? Or this? I think the staff, right? So it has a fingerprints on it and taken by her only people. I, I think I think the staff. Larry, that night there was someone, someone who lost a crystal sphere. There was. Who? Who is the stupid idiot? Miss Elise denounced them. The mentor to a stupid idiot. The victim. I have a photo of her here. And on the end of her staff, you can see a familiar-looking crystal sphere. Hey, hey, that's my photograph. Give it back. Ouch. A crystal sphere like that is quite easy to find. I have one just like it on my brooch. They look nothing alike. <laughs> In any case, please take a look at this. This is the victim's staff found at the scene of the crime. Ah, the, the crystal sphere. It's gone. What? I'm kind of sad that we don't have the original judge for this trial. What, what, what? What? Just what does this mean? If anyone jumped or flew across the bridge that night, it certainly was not Iris. After all, no one can fly. She was not wearing her hood. More importantly, the crystal sphere found at the landing site was not hers either. That means the one who flew and dropped the sphere was the victim, Miss Elise Denaxton. fool alongside another fool on a fool's errand to reach a foolish conclusion. First of all, this sketch, which I prefer to call a scribble, is ridiculous. <laughs> People cannot fly. Yes, thank you. Dust and disreject. Thank you. Yeah, you can't do that. I saw it with my own two eyes. And this crystal sphere. This is nothing more than a red herring. You honestly believe that? Give it some thought, and I'm sure you'll realize it as well, Miles Shadworth. Elise and Axnim was in her room on the night of the murder. There was no reason for her to go to Dusky Bridge. Therefore, this sphere cannot be related to this case. That is all. But there's blood on it. Do a blood test. Miss Francesca von Karma, the only people who will accept that explanation are scatterbrains and clowns. So, therefore, half the courtroom. Why are you pointing at me? The victim's crystal sphere was found near the bridge on the night of her murder. Yet you expect us to believe this has nothing to do with the case. That crystal sphere, it was probably thrown away at the bridge after the murder. Okay, well, that's important, is it not? Uh, after the murder. There is blood on the crystal sphere, isn't there? This naturally suggests that it was thrown away after the murder took place. The killer placed it there to throw the investigation off the scent, which is exactly the same reason that he drew that ridiculous sketch. What? You mean... I'm the killer? No, uh... All joking aside... Just when did this crystal sphere appear near the foot of the bridge? Unless this can be proven in some way, I refuse to believe this is related to the case. She makes a valid point. There's no evidence that Elise the next him and left Hazakura Temple that night. However, if somehow this crystal sphere can be proven to have been dropped before the victim was killed, then this case is going to transform into something else entirely. Your response, Mr. Shadworth. I want your final opinion on the disposition of this crystal sphere. If it is not related to the case, then this witness you, who you called will have been nothing more than a monumental waste of time. Prepare yourself for some very appropriate punishment, Miles Shadworth. Can I prove it? Can I prove that the crystal sphere was dropped before the murder took place? Yes, I can. Can I? I don't think I can. thing is, it's gonna say, well, go ahead and prove it then, and I'll be like, oh, fuck. Like, her blood is on it. 
Alright, I'm gonna go with no. And then if it loops me back around, then I know I have to do it. No. No matter how I look at it, it's not possible. It is certainly strange that the crystal sphere is found near the bridge. Or perhaps it is just a curveball from the killer. Vel Vel, Mouse Chadworth, Chadworth seems to have nothing further to say. Hmm. That I'm left with no choice. The court sees no reason. Hold it. What is this? Hey, Chatty, you're a defense attorney, aren't you? If it was Nick saying where you are right now. Oh, <gasps> how dare you? If it was Nick, do you think he'd give up? No, he'd find the truth, no matter what it took, no matter how crazy it seemed. Right. At this moment, I'm standing where you should be. Which means there's only one thing to do. Think like you. Alright, let me slam my head against this wall a couple times in order to make me get into the right mindset. Your Honor, allow me to prove something to you. I'll prove that this crystal sphere is vital is a vital link to solving this case. You'll, you'll do what? That look in your eyes! You remind me of Phoenix Wright when he is cornered. That should come as no surprise. Because right now, I am Phoenix Wright, and I am indeed cornered. Order you to present your evidence, Mr. Shadworth. Evidence that proves that the Crystal Sphere was indeed dropped before the murder. Why is the picture there? in the snow it was in the snow right so it had to be because of the snow it was covered in snow yeah oh your response miss von karma birds of a feather flock together are you familiar with this phrase miles chadworth i think one such bird is calling for its fellow now go go ch chatty do it prove it win 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 his cheering it's as though I'm listening to the- WAIT! That's not it! Woo! Did I click on the wrong thing? So Mr. Shadow, what do we do from here? One more chance, Your Honor. I can't turn back over the- The time of the murder and when the crystal sphere was dropped. I need to find proof that the latter happened first. Are you presenting your evidence, Mr. Shadow? Really? Is it the tracks? Is it just the sphere? Found half covered in snow. Is it is it is that it? Is it just literally the sphere? Crystal sphere was half buried in the snow, correct? That's right. If it hadn't stopped snowing, then it would have been game over. I really think that the weather report should have worked there. That kind of sucks. The snow would have totally covered it. That's all I needed to hear from you, Larry. Your testimony makes one thing quite clear. What? When the crystal sphere was dropped, it was snowing, even if it was ever so slightly. Snowing. Well, how heavy is the sphere? If there was snow there... It might have just sunk into the snow that was already there. That that actually really doesn't prove anything at all. Huh. Snowing. On the other hand, let us look at the scene of the murder. As proven earlier today, there is no snow on the victim's body. Ah. Therefore, the crystal must have been dropped before the murder. What? Order, order, order! On the night of the murder, the victim did indeed go to Dusky Bridge. And there, something occurred that caused this task crystal sphere to come loose. What? What could that have? What could that have been? This sphere. There is some blood on it, isn't there? 
Allow me to raise a certain possibility at this junction. The real crime scene was near the foot of Dusky Bridge. Oh. The murder didn't take place in the ha Hazakura Temple Courtyard. Only a fool would suggest such a foolishly piece of absolute foolishness. Just who is the fool? And which part is so foolish, Miss Von Karma? Have you been paying any attention this whole time, Mouse Chadworth? The sister saw everything. She saw the victim being killed by the defendant in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. <laughs> That's not exactly true, now is it? To put it more precisely, what she saw was the murder weapon being removed from the victim's body. But that's the same thing. No, it isn't. You said it yourself. Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk more about when the most blood will be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. Okay, is is this... Is this sharp enough to, to, to kill someone? And then they they wiped it clean, and then this replaced the thing. I don't think so, but I guess maybe. Like mm, I don't think so. Maybe when blades removed. If that statement is the truth, then Dusky Bridge could be ver could very easily be the scene of the murder. The murder weapon was not removed, thus there was no bleeding. You are forgetting one vital thing, Miles Chadworth. At least the Naxim's body was found in the Hazakura Temple. On foot, it takes 15 minutes to travel from Dusky Bridge to Hazakura Temple. You mean to suggest someone carried the body all that way? I've made it this far. The only place to take this is to the end. I just need to prove that my version of the events is also perfectly plausible. Now, if the defense is ready, the court would like to have an explanation. Please show us the method by which the victim's body was carried to Hazakura Temple. It's gotta be the snowmobile. Wait, it was flight! They flew! Can I save it? It's gotta be the snowmobile. Where's the snowmobile? On that snowy night, there was only one way that a body could have been moved. The snowmobile. Ah! As we know, the snowmobile was used that night. It was explained as having been used to dispose of the murder weapon, but it could have also been used to carry a body. Uh, this is complete, completely unacceptable, Miles Chadworth. You've dug yourself into your own grave. What do you mean? The only one who could have used the snowmobile was the defendant. She's the one who moved the body. Doesn't that put the final nail in your coffin? <laughs> You're too late, Francesca von Karma. Oh, so she she wasn't even dead. She just posed the body. So technically, she wasn't lying when she said I didn't kill kill her. Okay, but why would she do that? Who told her to do that? She's being forced to do it. All right, that's interesting. No, but she said she was in in her room until the incident, and and the thing didn't go ch -ch 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 -ch, right. So, well, I don't know. Let's see. You're too late, Francesca von Karma. And in fact, the defense has proven something else entirely. We have shown that this case requires further investigation. What? What? Where was the victim, at least the next really killed? If her body was moved, whatever for? And finally... Just what does this image mean? Who gives a fuck? Do you even need to think about that? Such a creature could never see the truth, let alone describe it. This witness certainly sits on one of the lowest possible branches of humanity. <laughs> However, he would never utter a lie that could hurt a girl with whom he's enamored. Also, he was my inspiration for learning how to do origami. Do you know how hard it is to learn origami with my gigantic, gigantic hands? Do you understand the precision involved and the patience, Von Karma? You have no idea. Let me make you a crane right now. Bask in the glory of my gigantic fingers folding this paper. He drew this, so it is actually something that, so, something that actually happened. The defense stands firm on this point. Edgy, thank you. Well, that settles it then. I cannot give a verdict under these circumstances. Grr, grr. Right, I seem to have fulfilled my part in this. It is just as I thought. Francesca von Karma, you make a wonderful partner. 
Excuse me, there is one reason and one alone for me being here. To expose the darkness lurking in this case and then pass it on to Wright. Really? That's what this is all about? You could have just told me from that very beginning. Tag, tag, me, tag me in, coach! Tag him in, tag him in. Yeah. Miles Chadworth, I don't care about what you were here to do. This was my chance to finally grind you under my heel. A shame that your chance seems to have slipped you by. What a shame, what a shame. This is all your fault. Such a terrible witness. So is like, next next trial is is like Wright versus Godot? Oh man, Larry's, Larry's starting to like it. Thumbs up. I cannot believe that the witness's testimony relates to an actual event. However, there has to be some sort of answer for the questions he raises. Have his words here today been the truth or lies? Next time we gather in this courtroom, those are the matters that shall be addressed. I am counting on thorough investigations by both the defense and the prosecution. Look at this. The rest is up to you. Right. Gar. Court is now adjourned. February 9th, 3.43am, Hottie Clinic, Intensive Care Unit. Is there only one hospital in this place? I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. Alright, so now now we're back. Now we're back. Alright, cool. Alright, and we are 5 hours and 20 minutes. We're 20, 20, 20 minutes over time. Okay, so uh, we will continue tomorrow, and uh, hopefully um, we will be able to finish tomorrow, and then uh, Cyberpunk on Thursday. Uh, Cyberpunk's happening on Thursday no matter what, so even if we're not done, I guess we'll have to do another stream on Friday to finish Ace Attorney, or just go really long tomorrow, but I really hope I don't have to, so we'll see. Anyway, so, uh, see you tomorrow, everybody. Uh, before I go, thank you to Bouncy Bob for a, a thousand bits as well. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you, Bouncy Bob. And thank you, Raphael Ambrosius Cost Costo, for gifting a sub to Angry About Elves, who I shouldn't really associate with anymore, Angry About Elves. Uh, thank you, uh, Raphael. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um... Yeah, hopefully we can get it done. I like this case so far. It's been good. Playing this Chadworth was really fun. This has been uh, a very, very entertaining. Uh, the last, I don't know, last two, three hours have really flown by. So, that's cool. Anyway, see you guys later.